Super League we're on round four of um, of this. Um, well, um, we're on round four already, believe it or not. I just can't believe where the uh, where the time's going. Absolutely immense stuff. And I'm just about to invite me a colleague in of uh, uh, Bro Gorilla who joined me last night. How's it going? How's it going, Todd? Yeah, not bad apart from uh, you know the um, the old weather and stuff. It's even though it's got a bit, even though it's got a bit cooler, it's still um, it's it's still you know <laughs> too much for us gingers. So I'm I'm struggling yeah. <laughs> along. I know. But before we get into the uh, nitty and gritty stuff, we're going to just uh, quickly um, just quickly get, um, send out the invite to everyone that's uh, interested in watch in watching and uh, welcome. And I hope you enjoy this. Um, what I reckon is going to be an absolutely epic race. Of course, Azerbaijan won the, uh, one of the toughest races on the calendar. It's um, it's it's probably one of the most difficult tracks. But Todd uh, Todd's going to uh, touch on that a bit more in a few uh, in a few minutes um, when I finished uh, when I finished uh, yapping away. Uh, so I'm just quickly sharing up the stream and making sure we're all good to go. Um, so bear with me a second. I'm getting really good at this now. I'm <laughs> I'm doing very well. Uh, so, um, ooh, I'm getting I'm getting questions from uh, ooh, awesome. All right, anyway, we'll come back. We'll touch on that in a minute. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so uh, round four then, and you can see then we've got the trap map, uh, the track map in the background. Then of course uh, the tire compounds C4, C3, and C2 are on the middle range tires. Of course, uh, not many people are really interested in what uh, compounds we got. All, all that you all that you should be worried about is the, the soft, medium, and hard tires, intermediates and wets. I highly doubt it. <laughs> so um, I don't think we're going to have any rain here in Baku. I have been wrong before. If anyone remembers the Chinese uh, Grand, the elite Chinese Grand Prix last week, I was completely wrong with the weather forecast. So um, yep, that's why I never become a weatherman. Anyway, yeah, we're so we're here in Baku. We have got 20 turns. It's a 3.7 mile track, second longest on the calendar, I believe. Of course, Vettel has the uh, fastest lap of the uh, the fa lap record at the moment from 2017. And what a Grand Prix that was! We'll touch on the history of uh, Baku in uh, just a few minutes. But um, yeah, Todd, um, I, tell you, I I think that you're a bit of a masterclass around here, aren't you? Uh, really, uh, um, you were you were pretty phenomenal when I've watched you around here before. Um, as uh, a lot of the a lot of the um, audience that was uh, watching last night will probably might not be watching tonight. So, do you want to give us a um, do you want to give us like a few um, pointers about what makes this track? Well, what made you so quick around this track and um, how to master it? Oh, oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> right, uh, well, uh, right to the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, it, it's more to do with how how my setup works with with the car. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, it is a very demanding track, uh, as I found out this year. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is a good track. Uh, the, the drivers will need to be 100% focused because, like last night in the Elite League, there was a lot of people touching the walls. Definitely, indeed. Of course, so you can't you can't go to sleep on this track. Definitely not. Uh, it's, um, to be honest, I I'm kind of torn and I'm kind of split into two minds about which is a di more difficult track between uh, Azerbaijan and Monaco. And um, I think I would prefer Monaco slightly because, um, as as you might have heard me last night, I'm very intimidated by the final sector around here. I really don't like it, <laughs> especially when you got a broken <laughs> wing. But anyway, before we get into any action, of course, we're going into qualifying now. Of course, we've got three qualifying sessions, and we'll go through the rules in a bit more detail in just a few moments. But before we do, let's take a look at the championship, shall we? So, well, at the moment, not that bad. It's, almost, it's got almost the maximum amount of points that's on offer in the uh, first three rounds. 77 points. That is incredible. Phenomenal start in the... Um, in um in um in this season matt is second at the moment of course um he's uh 40 points behind uh not that bad so that is quite a, a major gap at this stage of the season but not that bad hasn't had it all his own way has he this um this season in third position is as i feel as dog would be a lot higher up uh, be a lot have a lot more points on the board if um but uh queen's had a bit of some unfortunate incidents uh jonathan cox of course um had a dn in um 
uh, back in China. So um, that was uh, that was a bit unfortunate for him. A uh, bit of an off day for Jonathan there. Um, Harry in fifth position. Good to Harry doing a good job actually in fifth position. Sixth position we have is um, is uh, Roscoe again. Roscoe has has had the pace this season, hasn't he? But it's just been a bit unfortunate with. Um, uh, just been a bit unfortunate <laughs> with uh, with some things that have been going on in the races. Um, Sven, a break a leg, is a seventh position. I oh, yeah, I love that name by the way. I've only just noticed it. <laughs> so he's probably had that for like months and months and months. Eighth position, Snap. I've been very, to be honest, I've been very, uh, I've been talking Snap of a good game, and I think I um, and every time I every time I like um, compliment someone. They usually end up in the wall. It's kind of the commentator's curse. So I'm not going to. I'm going to try and. As much as I think Snaps have done a phenomenal job this season, I think that uh, I think that he's probably had some unfortunate incidents. So hopefully, um, I'm not going to compliment Snap anymore. But um, I do think I do think he um, he's got some good chances and points again today. Physico in ninth, and in tenth position is Steve Penny at the moment. Uh, so we're just watching Nas Doggy. He's the first man out on track at the moment. We've got 17 cars out so out there. Um, so um, this first qualifying session is 18 minutes long, and um, to be honest, that's, that's not enough time at all, is it? Really, to um, get your to really this is more of a warm up to uh, get your to get the um, to get the blood flowing, isn't it? To, to get yourselves sort of really hyped up for the event later on. But of course, then so um, we are going. But unlike the elite last night, this is not a practice session. You, you have to be very you have to be neat, decently competitive. Uh, you're flying such one already. And um, to uh, get yourself through for you one, so we're going to lose two cars in this session. And um, we're, the question is, who is it going to be? We're just watching Didymus now. Of course, Didymus, uh, I don't think it's raced so far this season. So uh, Didymus in the Alfa Romeo. So um, usually in the Alfa Romeo is... I don't think we've got a second Alfa Romeo, have we? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, probably I'm wrong. I can't see a second Alfa Romeo there. So Didymus might be, um, might be in the car full time, which would be great to see. And I am no longer in the party. Well, <laughs> whoops. Um, yeah, oh, a bit. I, I disconnected there, which is a bit unfortunate. So um, hopefully, hopefully we're back with the live action now. I've just got Todd back into the party. I've been a bit of a dodgy problem there, Todd. I think that uh, I think that someone unplugged me. Uh, which, to be honest, I do not. Um, I probably I'm surprised I've done it sooner, really. And anyway, just watching Didymus now, who's out on a lap. And um, you know, apologies for that as we uh, missed the first part of Didymus's lap. But uh, of course, car 72, the Alfa Romeo. I, I really enjoy the Alfa Romeo car. It's a lovely car. Uh, what's your favourite car, by the way, Todd? I've never actually asked you that question. Um, uh, what, what's, what's your favourite looking car out there? I, I quite like the uh, the Ferrari. It's got it's got a new uh, it's got a new matte finish this uh, this year, hasn't it? Um, which uh, does look, it looks particularly nice. Um, I must admit, it didn't look very nice in the um, under the lights of uh, of Bahrain earlier on the season, but. Um, I must admit, I quite like the traditional finish of F1 cars because, especially under the lights, they look so sleek and amazing. As um, Didymus is now just coming through to uh, complete his first half, a lovely orange helmet, a bit, a bit of the Iron Tiger here, isn't it? Um, oh, go! Oh, a bit of understood, and he's clapped the wall, and he's damaged his end plate already. And uh, that, well, that's not a good start. His double is out, and uh, double is out. Of course, um, double he's not been feeling very well as of late. And um, he's uh, he, he made it into the session, but unfortunately hasn't got very far into it. So he will be the first um, first elimination from this session, which is a bit unfortunate for Double. Of course, um, it is hard to race when you're not feeling too well because Hamilton um, Hamilton had to do on the weekend, didn't he? Really in Germany. So um, yeah, uh, that's a shame there for Double. Really, he, um, he's got himself in, he's got himself here today, and unfortunately, and not that bad. It's just gone uh, fastest, but um, Timmy has gone second. So it's a Mercedes one to the moment. Are you racing? Made his debut back, uh, and Timmy did. Made his uh, debut couple um, in China, 
I know, look at that. The, the debutons are really, um, really showing the way at the moment. Good stuff to see. We have both horses that are just about to come to the end of the lap. Here comes Wee John, who needs completely lost his front wing now. So um, he's had a old clap with the wall, hasn't he? Here comes Breaker Legs, Fen. Uh, <laughs> um, he's now coming up to the line then. And he goes full fast at the moment for Sven in the beautifully liveried horse. And it uh, depends on how long we're going to have that horse livery um, with all the fiascos going on at uh, Rich Energy, which is now called Lightning Vault, I think. Uh, Matt goes um, six fast at the moment on a 44 0 in the tour, also. Uh, just taking a look at the house at the moment. I have dog out there. He, um, at all, he's been very good in qualifying. Jonathan Cox out there as well. Uh, so I'm just taking a look at the house out there. Not many people out there at the moment, so I'm going to stay with Al's dog. Super Steve's out. And Super Steve's out as well. Of course, um, he was. Um, he made his debut in China last week as well, so we had a couple of debutants in China last week. This, uh, and what a hard way, what a very, what a very difficult way for um for some of these drivers only having their second league race, and they got to come to Azerbaijan. Blimey, it doesn't get any tougher than this, does it? Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> do you uh, which track, uh, which track do you find the hardest out of the um, Azerbaijan and Monaco? Because they're both street circuits. I, to be honest, I think that uh, I do find this track harder than uh, Monaco, in, in my opinion. Oh, that's a bunch of there. Sorry, that's a bunch of As dog <laughs> clipped, nearly clipped the wall there. And um, <laughs> almost did a Hamilton back in 2016, but um, got away with it. And to be, ooh, and uh, I'm wondering now, um, you know, he was very close to the wall there. As a he yellow. Was, uh, very close. <laughs> oh, not that bad. Out. Uh, but uh, he's still, uh, I think he's just uh, called it a day. He's done a 149. He thinks he's confident of getting through there. Yeah, but um, as I was just about to finish up, what, what do you feel is, um, is a diff more difficult track? Is it? Do you feel that uh, this track's difficult, or do you think uh, Monaco's uh, more of a challenge? Uh, to be honest, I was just not long ago doing a practice session with some of the guys, and uh, at the moment, my opinion, Monaco's the hardest track for me. I definitely agree with you, because Monaco can be... Um, it <laughs> can be a bit of a headache a at times. Nasty track at times. Yeah, it can, it can bite you as well. To be honest, um, I I must admit though, I think that I think that this one probably takes the um, probably takes the uh, takes the top prize for me. I really I really struggle around here. I was just watching Jonathan Cox and of course, um, uh, unfortunately DNF in China. He, um, to be honest, he was uh, he was looking very good, isn't he, up until one point? But unfortunately, he uh, drove into the back of Asdog. Um, no, I think he drove into the back. I think it was not that bad. And he's gone to second now, and you can see, um, are you racing? Looking phenomenal at this stage of the uh, session. Uh, brilliant time, almost nine tenths of a second quicker than uh, D Jonathan Cox, and that is nothing to um, nothing to sneeze at, is it? Everyone's got done their times on the oh, soft well, compound tyres. Good lap, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a really good lap from Are You Racing. Now I don't think I don't think you gave him enough credit for him on his um, when he first in it, but wow, incredible stuff. Just taking a look to see who's on the who's uh, on going to attack, and I think it is um, Wee John in the uh, Haas. His teammate Sven there up in that seventh position at the moment. As uh, so now they're coming down into turn one, then as um, to be honest, it'll end a very long, uh, end a very um, from like the start to the um, to turn one. It's not the most, uh, lo it's not the longest uh, straight in the world, is it? As um, as uh, just on board with Wee John then. Um, yeah, um, so uh, do you feel that this is an important qualifying session um, for Azerbaijan, or do you think that, um, or do you think that you can get away with a poor qualifying session and uh, still um, still have a good race? Uh, well, I, I, from experience, I normally my quality pace isn't as good as what my race pace would have been. Um, it, it's it's hard to explain as we John go sliding around the corner. <laughs> he, he definitely um, enjoyed that, isn't he? I think he's in the wrong yeah, sport yeah, then for that one. <laughs> <laughs> he's pushing that hass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is, I would say try and set a decent time and see how they can progress through each stage of quality and then see what they can do in the race uh, that, that's a very interesting thing you've touched on is uh, we got the old flag but that was just Jonathan getting out of the way as uh, uh, Energy Dan is not with us here this week uh, which is a shame for Energy he hasn't scored a point yet uh, I did I chose I remember that was um, I remembered that when um, <laughs> we're just in the Ferrari goes left uh, the we John is now coming across the line in the half and he is going to go ninth for the moment he is the slowest of the uh, nine runners so far 
Fizico is out on the medium compound tire. Jonathan is, uh, I think he's run out of fuel. But uh, that, that's a very interesting uh, thing you put on there, to, um, um, touched on there, Todd, was the, um, was the qualifying and race pace. There's a 43 4 there for Fizico. He's going on the hard tires. He's seen if he can get away with um, going on the hard tires because I'm wondering if, um, I wonder if he went for more of the uh, harder range uh, tire for um, for his um, for his sets for the weekend, uh, for the weekend for the event. Uh, just on board with DNF Dave. But uh, yeah, you t you touched on um, um, qualifying as well, where qualifying pace and race pace. Um, so did you feel he was more of a better qualifier than an actual racer? Uh, well, yeah. As last year in Baku, when uh, when we were doing qualifying, I was I was quite shocked to to get into Q3 to be honest, because I didn't have much luck at the start of last season. But Azerbaijan, I, I just dealt with the track and quality. It, it's, it's, it's like a Felipe Massa kind of thing, isn't it? Because I remember Massa was having a bit of a tired time one year and then he got to got to Turkey and he just basically, um, he basically his career just, just flicked a switch and he was flying. So um, I suppose that's like you in, um, like you here in Azerbaijan. So it's uh, Todd in Baku, Felipe in uh, Turkey. So uh, yeah. So um and uh, but I feel but um yeah it's, uh, I think that uh, that was a very good lap um, um that uh, you've done in the past here and uh, really um it's a uh, it you you can tell that you like this track though it's definitely um definitely one you enjoy isn't it? Yeah yeah I, I do like Azerbaijan. Oh um, sorry sorry. Sorry to cut in there. We've got Penny who's in the wall and he's damaged his front wing now. So, um, unfortunately, Penny's going to have to go back around. That's a lot of damage as well. Uh, you can see there's an escape road at the end of these uh, long straights there. So, you've got yeah, to commit he's early. He's lost all his front wing. The yeah, whole so, lot's gone. And uh, that's going to put him on the back foot now, isn't it? Because he's only going to get one run. That's a lot of pressure, isn't it, um, on, um, on Steve Penny? Yeah, that is a lot of pressure on, on Steve, to be honest, because. You know, I, I, I've been, I know it's hurting because I've been in Steve's situation before when I've, when I've been on a lap, hit the wall, and you know, it. I just got to cut in because we've got a, we've got a traffic jam here. As it looks like the Alfa Romeo of uh, Didymus has gone the wall. He's took out Timmy, and I think there was a Force India, a Super Steve, was it? Yeah, Super Steve in there as well. That's completely ruined Dave's lap. And that's also ruined Super Steve's lap as well. So Dave was on the hard compound tire. So the castle section has already has already claimed a victim or two victims, I think, with Didymus and uh, with Didymus and McTimmy. And McTimmy didn't need to push because he was safely through. I felt. So that's a big shame for uh, for them guys. So um, yeah, re real real shame there. Of course, uh, you touched on the castle section, didn't you, last night, Todd? Where um, yeah. where it can be very apparent. It's one of the most difficult parts of any racetrack in the world. And we've already sit. We didn't see much action at the castle section last night, but we've already had our first victim. So a bit of a shame for those two drivers. Yeah, definitely. They're they're going to be kicking themselves. But. They do have have an advantage over the rest of the guys because they're going to be able to put fresh tyres on. Indeed, yeah, because um, now that's the, I think that's the um, only silver lining, isn't it? Really, that they're going to have a lot of fresh tyres. And um, oh, uh, DNF Dave's out. He's hit the wall. Turn two. Oh no, and that's a big blow for Dave because the snap goes 10 fastest. He's seen him, he damaged his front wing, he chose to go round. And uh, you can see we're on board a snap now as uh, Dave, uh, Dave has gone into turn two. He's done a Steve Penny, I think, but he's actually terminally damaged the car. And that's a big blow for Dave. We have lost uh, Timmy, Didymus, Dave, and... Um Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of wind. <laughs> and um, and uh, Ross, and not Roscoe, and Double. So we've lost four drivers already in this uh, in this uh, first qualifying session. Now, does that surprise you? How uh, how hard they're pushing here in in this first Q1 session? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't push in Q1. I'll just go out, put a lap in, and and just hope for the best. But if if I was on the verge of being knocked out of Q1, uh, yeah, knocked out in Q1, I'd try and get out there, put, put a fresh set of tyres on and just go for it. Kind of like... Um, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't keep pushing as much as these guys are. Yeah, I was, I was, quite, surpri I was quite surprised really. Um, 
Uh, I think that Timmy must have got caught, got caught up in Diddy Master's accident, but unfortunately Dave uh, and uh, Super Steve goes to 11 fast at the moment has dropped has not stopped down into 12th position. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think it's a bit unfortunate, really. Is it? Oh, and Steve uh, almost uh, going into I uh, think that's the turn four. So uh, Steve, uh, Steve, uh, almost uh, clouting the barrier. Uh, so at the moment, are you racing? He's uh, got got a decent margin up at the front of the boat. He's looking, he's looking a very strong, a uh, very strong driver indeed. Uh, we've just got under three minutes to go. We're watching number fifty-seven in the McLaren. So that is uh, Steve, who missed the Chinese Grand Prix, unfortunately. But he's back in action now, and he's coming through the castle station. Look how good narrow it is around there. The yellow flag in one, and it's um, Snap who's. Uh, Oh, he's just trying to get his tires up to temperature at the moment. So, um, yeah, I think he's... It looks like he's having fun in the car, but he's not. He's at... Well, he might be having fun, I don't know. But um, he's just trying to get his tires up to temperature. So, um, so they're in the optimal window. Of course, these drivers are kind of like the most... Uh, it's kind of like um, the fastest heat engineers, don't they? They really want to get the tires up to temperature in a, a good temperature window. They want the brakes as um, hot as they can. Well, not as hot as they can, but in a decent temperature window. Of course, they want the engines yeah. to be uh, cooled, and they, uh, there's no fans on these cars. The only way you can cool the engine is uh, by going faster, really. And what a way to, as you can see, look at them reaching almost 210 miles an hour uh, down, the ba uh, down the back straight. Look at that, 212, 13 miles an hour. Steve Penny hit there as he comes down into turn one, and we're on board Steve Penny now. We're just going to go on a lap. And uh, now we're coming over to turn two now because he um, unfortunately hit the wall there earlier on in qualifying. And that's also where Dave went out. I hate to say this, uh, I think Dave at the moment has got uh, is retired in I think all three of the first rounds, and he hasn't got any points at the moment. So um, yeah, I think um, Dave would love to have his season turned around here today. Of course, his teammate uh, Roscoe um, has also been a very has had a very strong start to the season in terms of uh, pace, but unfortunately he hasn't got much to show for it. Only 18 points on the board so far. As um, as I was just on board, Steve. They're all climbing over the curb there, and you see, oh uh, no, you see, you take too much of the curb there, and then you lose control because you're in the, the front wheels are in the air. Of course, the front wheels is what you need to turn. It's not like a shopping trolley, even though it probably feels like a shopping trolley at times. Coming from the castle <laughs> section now, look how close he gets to the wall. No, that that was, uh, that was perfect. That was that was absolutely beautifully done there from Penny. As now he's coming onto the uh, back, down to the finish right now. Uh, we was talking about Dave uh, and I'm struggling with the uh, some with uh, yeah, like DNFs at the moment. How difficult is it to get out of a rut when you're like really struggling for results and stuff? I mean, it's um, it it, it does it feels like the races get tougher, and it? it's a, it's becomes a mental game as well, don't it? When you're um, when you're struggling and uh, you try and race harder, you you go for you go for lunges when and there. How difficult is it to get out of that to get out of that uh, rut? It is very difficult, as uh, as I can I, I can tell from experience from last season. You know, I had nine DNFs, which is not a record to be proud of. Um, but you know, it it happens to the best of us. Um, yeah, like I've been trying to get points all season last season, and it is very difficult to get out of it of a bad season like that. I, I must say actually I think there's some I think that um, Martin Brunel had a worse uh, d did not finish record I think it was 94 when um, he was a part of the McLaren team because McLaren had switched to Peugeot engines and then um, unfortunately Martin Brunel had the, wor well, the worst of the bad luck in that McLaren of course that McLaren was um, I think retired from 14 races in total in that season which is an absolute shambles of a record and I'm sure Martin Brundle uh, retired in well over half the races he entered in um, which is a bigger it's a bit of a shame for Martin there of course I think um, you know it wasn't his, for the la his last full season was it of course he did what in 96 with Jordan but uh, oh and uh, not that bad it's back in I didn't even see not that bad leaving then so I really need to um, get my uh, I need to go to Specsavers really as we're just watch, we're just watching um, Steve Penny just coast in now on the lap. So at the end of that session, then we have lost Double and Dave, but uh, we have also lost Didymus, Timmy, and I think, uh, but we haven't lost Snap. I don't think because Snap is just. Uh, I don't think we've lost Snap, have we? I don't think we have. Uh, I hope not. Uh, no, I, don't, I think he just retired. Yeah, I'm hoping he just retired as well. So Snap should be in yeah. uh, Q2. So we're in Q2, we're only going to lose uh, two. Uh, sorry, three drivers. 
and uh, when, that's when the strategy really gets into play now. Um, who, who do you think is going to be um, looking over their shoulders then in Q for, in Q in Q two? Then uh, do you, who do you feel is um, uh, most likely to be knocked out of Q two? Uh, I'm gonna say Ferrari. The drivers that I think will go would probably be Wee John, um, Super Steve. Uh, now this is a tough one because all these drivers are really good drivers, so it's hard to really make a choice. But I'd probably say Steve Penny. So uh, that, that's Todd's prediction. And I'm not going to make a prediction because, for example, whoever I say would be guaranteed to knock out. And um, yeah, <laughs> I've um, I don't wanna, I don't wish that on anyone. Anyway, that's the end of Q1. Then we're just going to take a quick look to see what went out, what went down. That uh, course double, who's um, been ill recently, so we wish him all the best. And uh, I tell you what, he's a, he's a fighter, and he? he's already he's in this race and ready to go. Unfortunately, he hasn't set a time in qualifying. Dave unfortunately um, met his demise in turn two. Uh, he had a damaged front wing though after the incidents between Didymus and uh, in the um, castle section. And of course, Timmy um, also out as well. So going into going into Q2, then we got Snap, Super Steve, Wee John, Fizico, uh, Penny, Sven, not that bad, Matt, Asdog, Harry, Jonathan, Roscoe, and Are You Racing? I told that really well. I'm so happy with that. Blimey. I thought I was going to yeah, run out no, of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, that Are You Racing is looking very quick. He is mind, isn't he? He's um. Remember, yeah. this is only a second a second race in IRC, and it looks like he's been here forever. That that um, he is really okay. he's really on the pace there. So I think he's not that down for the other guys, isn't he? He definitely is. He's really raising the bar, isn't he? Um, for the other guys, I think in I think in China there is a, a bit of misfortune for um for you racing, but um definitely he's just come and score some points for um, uh for uh, for the uh, racing points, and he's of course he got six in the end, I think. So um, yeah, he's um, he's he's definitely looking. He's definitely looking to start a future, maybe even the star now. Uh, so we're now into the second qualifying session, and uh, this is 15 minutes long. And talking of the racing point, we got Super Steve coming out. So he's coming out straight away. He is on the medium compound tire, Super Steve. So he's going to try and sneak through to Q3 on the medium compound tire. Uh, of course, anyone that's new to new to Formula One, welcome. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying the ride because this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, especially around this track, um, <laughs> you're gonna be you, if you if you like if you like um, if you like uh, crashes, smashes, and um, an action, then I think you've definitely come to the right place tonight. As a bunch on, it's definitely going to offer us some of that. And of course, uh, anyway, going back to what I was saying before I got interrupted, uh, before I just went off on a completely different um, <laughs> rant there. Uh, the, um, Super Steve then is on the medium compound tyres. The reason why he's on the medium is because uh, he wants to start its race on the medium tyres. So if you get to Q3, you have to start on the tyre which you set the uh, fastest lap on. And uh, Jonathan has just said he's new to streaming, nervous, but getting into it. Of course, um, Jonathan is streaming on YouTube now, so... Um, so, uh, which is which is good stuff. To be honest, that's probably the best way because uh, I must admit, um, when I was racing the RC, I, I only I streamed because I didn't really trust the PlayStation from recording my um, videos. So I always I always streamed personally because it was just easier. <laughs> so um, yeah. Yeah, I mean when I, when I'm racing, I, I stream to YouTube as well. It's a safer way, isn't it? I feel because um, yeah. I I think that's when I, cause I'm not 100 percent sure if the PlayStation's still recording or not, and the PlayStation's only can record for up to an hour each time, and uh, qualifying. So you can't really do qualifying the race, can you? Unless uh, unless you do one shot, which um, no one wants to do that. Uh, so as uh, so I super see across the line now, so yeah, YouTube is probably the easiest way to do it. So um, yeah, that's the way I've done it. I would, would I recommend it? Well. I've, I don't know. I, to be honest, don't listen to me. <laughs> I, um, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I don't know my head from my tail. As uh, so I'm just watching Super Steve then, as he's about to start his lap in number 14. He was very close to the barrier there, wasn't he? Oh, blimey. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. He's not leaving it. He's not leaving any inch on this track. Amazing stuff. Super Steve there coming down the second DR straight. There is two DR zones in this um, in this Azerbaijan street circuit. It's a very mutual place to have a race, isn't it? It's, um, I must admit, when I first seen it, I, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was amazing. It's like I think it's a uh, Vietnam, isn't it, coming in 2020 as well? I'm really looking forward to that yeah, I'm race. Looking forward to that one myself as well. It, it does look good. I must admit, though, I do quite like traditional racetracks, but I, I do, I do quite like the look of that one. 
Um, but uh, I must admit, I did quite like the look of the Russian, the Russian one as well. The Russian track as well. I was quite disappointed with that in the end because it looks quite a lot like Valencia. I mean, the Vietnam track. I've not actually seen what it looks like yet. Oh, it, it does look pretty good. I, mean, I think there is a couple of, um, I think, um, I think a couple of YouTubers have uh, gone around it in like some of the R Factor, um, R Factor games and things like that. And it does look, well, to us, it looks standard at the moment because there's obviously no scenery and stuff like that. But um, as you can see, we've got a bit of a queue behind Super Steve at the moment. I think they're all just about to start our laps. They need to start to back off, really. Otherwise, they're going to get some dirty air. That Mercedes isn't too well, though. Of course, that is uh, not that bad. Of course, in the championship, he ain't going to listen to me because he's in the title. He's in the championship. He's uh, been perfect so far this season. And he's got a slipstream as well, hasn't he? Slipstream coming very powerful around here. As um, not that bad. And it's uh, just gaining, gaining, gaining. And he is going to pull up. That is a perfect slipstream for not that bad. So you might see not that bad. And um, <laughs> flight to the top of the uh, table at the moment. Uh, so are you racing instead of 40? 44. As dog as well. 45. Fem for Super Steve. Who else is out there at the moment? Jonathan is out on track as is a Sven break a leg. Uh, oh, we John has um, gone into the wall there at turn 15, and it's a uh, Matt's gone third. So uh, yeah, we John that is going to cut that is going to hurt him coming up. Look at how much understeer is going to have now as he comes on the um, onto these uh, very twisty turns of. Um, uh, before he ends the lap, look at that. He's having to correct the car. He's taking two bites of the cherry. You've got yellow flagging one. Um, and of course, uh, Wee John is on the uh, soft compator. Almost said super soft there. Uh, Sven up in the fourth. Uh, so um, let's just take a look. And uh, where does that Wee John goes into fifth position at the moment? So um, just take oh. a look at. Oh, and that snap yeah, is now for seven. Who's that? Is that for uh, Wee John? Is it? Yeah, yeah, he's a oh, mate. I think he should just slow, just, just cruise around, to be honest, because if he's going to push it like that, he's going to do terminal damage to that car. Yeah, but I think a bit like uh, Dave, unfortunately, as well, Drew. I think Dave might have pushed too hard uh, on them, um, on it with his damaged front wing there. But uh, cool, we got just under nine minutes, under ten minutes to go. Not that bad. Who had a brilliant slipstream off of uh, off a of super ste in the uh, racing point. And now let's just see how much time he's gained. Now you see he's, um, this track is quite harsh on the plumbing. Jonathan Cox goes on a, in third. They're all on the medium compound tires. The moment Prophet Snap who's going the hard, and uh, Wee John on the uh, soft compound tires. And not that bad. Pole, uh, it's gone fast at the moment. It's not pole position yet. I've jumped ahead of myself already. Um, <laughs> we still got, we still got another qualifying session to go. And uh, not that bad there. Goes uh, fast at the moment. I wonder how much that slipstream helped. The slipstream is coming very good around here. So if you've got a willing partner, which I hardly doubt anyone is willing to help each other <laughs> in this in this um in this race, I'm just having a look to see the team combinations. Um, uh, yeah, I think um you know, I think that uh, really yeah, you, well, sometimes you've got to be selfish, aren't you? That's that's what makes winners, isn't it? And um, yeah, I mean, sorry, just to interrupt there, Sean. Um, oh, carry on. <laughs> when I I've, one of my teammates I race with, and we're both in the Red Bull. I said to him, if you're faster than me, I will let you through, you know what I mean, I won't fight, you know what I mean, there's, there's no point, because if you're going to fight with your teammate, you're going to come together at some point, and then you're going to lose a lot of valuable points. Uh, to, to be honest, I must admit, my, um, all of the, some of the teammates I have been with, have, uh, I must admit, I've been a lot slower. So um, usually, I didn't see the point in uh, risking my own race. And to be honest, I only ever focused on the constructors because, uh, let's be honest, I wasn't going to be anywhere near the drivers. So um, I wanted to win something. I am. I love to win. But um, <laughs> to be honest, I think Everyone the only thing. Everyone likes to win, to be honest with you, mate. <laughs> oh, and Fisco has gone on the wall there, and he's damaged his end plate, and. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that's going to compromise him now for the remainder of the lap. So this, my wonder if Fizzica might abandon his comeback in the pits. He's, um, as I got, he's got your flag in two. Uh, hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully no one's come a cropper as such. Uh, that your flag is still out there. So that is a major incident. And it's always oh, Jonathan who's uh, just cruising. And uh, just taking a look. And so Fizzica is still on his lap at the moment. So he's going through the first sector of 35.9. Oh, and going against the wall again there. To be honest, so you have to be up against the walls around here, don't you, to get the absolute best time out of the car. Of course, uh, Fizzico, car yeah, 14. Definitely. 
um, to, uh, to us, like, I think that uh, the street circuits I was never good at because I wasn't brave enough to go up against the walls, really. And to be honest, uh, if oh, and look at that overset, that was beautifully done. But unfortunately, that's probably cost their uh, physical a uh, bit of time there. But I was, uh, but I was enjoying that anyway. And I uh, think uh, physical probably was as well, even though he's probably lost them a lot of time in uh, turn 15. To be honest, I really struggled with turn 15. It is downhill, and um, I usually like completely misjudging, go smashing into the wall. I did it, I think I did it on two occasions here last time. As, yeah, uh, I've done exactly the same, mate, at turn 15. It is a nasty corner, turn 15. Indeed, Liz, if you get the inside corner, if you get the inside curb, you're almost certainly, um, you're almost certainly going to be uh, meeting, that, uh, meeting that wall. Of course, uh, as uh, Physico does abandon this out because he's damaged his car, so we were just watching Harry in the McLaren, look at how beautifully done, flying through the, uh, flying through the shot. And now he's going to be pedal to the metal now as he comes up to the start finish. Well, he comes up to the finish straight line now. And uh, what's he going to do? You can see your deployments. Um, not the uh, deployments run out, but he gets full fast at the moment. So he's just a tenth in front of Jonathan Cox at the moment. Uh, Roscoe's out there as well at the moment. I uh, feel that uh, Roscoe will be disappointed with his. Um, he's had a phenomenal season start. Both him and his dog have been really impressive. Um, I keep I keep uh, praising the two guys because they have been uh, phenomenal, really. It's a shame that I feel that they're probably disappointed about the points they got on the board at the moment. So um, I think uh, Roscoe would like to get a good result here. And then we just got um, we just got to Daniel Murphy just saying um, good luck. Uh, not that bad, of course. Uh, not that bad at the moment. Has got almost um, the maximum points there. So uh, of, um, 77 points he's got. Incredible stuff, isn't it? After just that, that is three incredible. races. Yeah, so um, it's, uh, so, um, I think that the maximum points in this season, in this race, uh, up to this race, was 78. So um, he didn't. Get, so he's missed out on one fastest lap, which I think was in Australia. So um, that is a mighty start to the season, isn't it? Absolutely mighty. Yeah. And um, yeah. Roscoe now coming up to the coming up to the line now. So let's see what Roscoe can do. His target is a 140.3 there, boy. Not that bad, not that bad. Remember, I had a bird of an amazing slip stream there from Super Steve at the beginning. Roscoe goes four passes on a 41 0. So, the guys in the drop, the guys that are in the drop zone mode is uh, Physico, who's coming out of the pits. Now, for uh, Steve Penny, who um, is uh, in the pits at the moment. Then we've got Snap, who's only done his time on the hard compound tire. Guys looking over their shoulder, and um, Super Steve at the moment. Also, Wee John might be a bit nervous as well. We've got a bit of a gap between Wee John and Sven at the moment. Sven might also be in a bit of danger as well. Uh, Matt is out on track at the moment, and he is uh, starting. Well, he's um, about to complete his lap. He's on the medium compound tire, and Matt. Is. Remember, he got pole position in China, didn't he, uh, just over a week ago? Uh, as, um, he did. A, that was an absolutely phenomenal time uh, from uh, Matt. Was, yeah, that, was, that, was, <laughs> I remember that race very well because I, I lost it in the pit lane. You did. You had. You did a Hamilton, didn't you? Unfortunately, I uh, did. But it a, wasn't. It wasn't my fault. I, my brakes were not working. And uh, to, to honest, uh, Hamilton had a similar issue, but unfortunately his tires weren't working because um, one of them was absolutely down to the canvas, if I remember. And uh, I must yeah, admit, very, very worn that tire. <laughs> Uh, to honest, I must admit, you can even even we're not even in China anymore, and I'm still salty about that uh, about that race. <laughs> <laughs> I I must admit, I think that uh, usually I kind of sit back and kind of um, give the teams the benefit of the doubt if I think they should pit and they haven't pitted, but well, unless they're Ferrari, <laughs> I must admit the last two couple of years of Ferrari's strategy has just been um, woeful. But as we're just watching Wee John on the soft compound tire, but, yeah. But I remember in that race, <laughs> I was like pit. Please just pit, pull him out of his misery, <laughs> and then he went inside gravel trap, which is no longer there. It was a needless gravel no. trap. I'm, I must admit, I do love a good gravel trap, but uh, you do need the gravel trap there, surely. Anyway, um, enough about enough about yeah, me. Oh, down, sorry, can't just cut you off, man. Uh, Top because uh, we John misjudged that. That's what I mean about being very cautious in the final sector. He has knocked his wheel off, and it was just a bit of a tap as well. But the force is going. Oh, and uh, was that that was physical, wasn't it? Uh, no, it's it, it was was it? I'm sure it's in a yellow car. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going wild. I don't know. <laughs> I thought he just in a yellow car, but obviously I didn't. But yeah, unfortunately, we John is out of qualifying. Penny is out as well, so Penny is not going to get through. So that unfortunately means that um, we have lost uh, Penny, who's out, and we've also lost um, we John out there as well. Uh, 
and um, which is a bit of a shame and uh, yeah that, that's disappointing for that as a uh, physical and is just um he's just about to complete the lap at the moment and of course then is that uh, he's not coming down the hill into uh, turn 15 then so um as we just had a uh, for the uh, viewers that are just joining us um I've uh, just had a bit of a hint in the uh, comment section about who uh, who got knocked out of the Q1. It was Double that got knocked out of Q1, so did Dave. And then we had a couple of incidents with Didymus and Timmy as well. So uh, that's why I've only got 13 drivers in this qualifying session because um, we had um, we had some incidents in the castle section. And um, and uh, yeah. And uh, by the way, um, it's, um, yeah. So is a uh, Physico uh, coming across the line, and he goes eight fast as Physico does. He might feel will he feel comfortable with that time? Do you reckon he'd be all right there with that time, Todd? Uh, yeah, I reckon he should be safe with the one forty-one eight. And um, <laughs> and of course um, uh, I, uh, Dan just said thanks in the in the comments and. To be um, to, I think. Oh, we'll come back to that in a minute because Sven just about keeps out the wall. Blimey! I tell you what, that was the seed of your pants. I thought he was done there. I really thought he was yeah, done. I thought he was, yeah, I, I thought he was done there as well, mate. To be honest. Absolutely amazing stuff. And um, I, as a, yeah, I um, so I'm just I'm sure I'm thinking of people that I, when I just asked who was out of Q1, I bet they didn't think I would remember. And I must admit. I did struggle, so I did write it down. <laughs> I, 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 to be honest, mate, I completely lost track of who went out, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest it, it's quite difficult, isn't it? Because uh, we're just on board Snap now. I'm just trying to decide who's, um, who's close to the finish line. I think Physico is, so we're going to keep on board Physico at the moment. And um, uh, he's, I crashed coming out of the pits, hit the wall like a. Uh, well, I'm not even going to repeat why he's. Oh, that, uh, uh, Timmy, unfortunately, um, crashed, uh, crashed coming out of the pits. I hit the wall, uh, but I'm not going to repeat the last le uh, word he said. But um, yes, <laughs> let's, let's. I think we can all imagine what he said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but to honest, I um, yeah, <laughs> it's the um, let's just say it's the uh, it's the pectoral muscle on the man. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> physical coming into the pits now. He's um, happy with his time, isn't he? He feels safe. So what about Snap then? Snap is five seconds quicker on the medium compound tyre. Super Ste is out. Penny is out. What about Snap? Is he gonna knock John out? He does. He's in. He's in the top ten again. So well done to Snap. He is back up into the top ten. Fantastic stuff. And again, that just shows us uh, Snap really has come on leaps and bounds in this um, in this game. Phenomenal stuff from Snap. Well, very well done indeed. Sven is just coming He's doing into the pit. Very well. He is, isn't he? I feel. I've, to be honest, I think um, I don't like to single people up because I think that it's a, I think F1 uh, is a very tough game to be good at. Really, it's um, you have to be you have to be on it like all the way through. You have to get your you have to get your um, judgment right in all sorts. I mean, unlike FIFA, all you got to do is group one, you press circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like with me, I'm I'm still learning my breaking points on on each track because. Last season, I raced with braking assist on, and this season I'm racing with it off. It's a, it's a bigger, it's a big old um, it's it's a, it's it's um night and day apart, isn't it? Really, when um when you uh, start to take off the assist and stuff, um because um I um I, well, I tried I I must admit I tried taking the um taking traction off uh, on the F2 cars this season. What a mistake that was. Uh, yeah, I've never been so oh, frustrated yeah. in my that's life. A, that's not <laughs> the best of moves I've, I've, I've made either. <laughs> as, um, yeah. as, uh, we're just going to go through. Uh, he's been knocked out, so Penny unfortunately didn't set a time. No, uh, Super Steve is out, and also Wee John is out as well. Just missing out there. So Snap there improving. All the top ten is on the medium compound tyre. So I think they must have listened to you last night, Todd, and uh, gave the game away, really. So they're all on the medium compound tyre there and going from... Uh, so uh, really, they've got a good old window to... Um, they got a good old window to uh, really, yeah. like, um, come in the pits and uh, go into the hard compound tyre. They might even have a two-stop go medium, medium, maybe, and have a soft at the end. But, um... Yeah, and I don't... my prediction was right on who was going to be knocked out. Nicely done. So here's the difficult one now, then. Who do you reckon is going to get pole position, then, as we're entering Q3? Right now, it was close between are you racing and not that bad in Q2. So I'm gonna go with not that bad. 
That's a very brave move as well. Uh, uh, yeah, to be honest, not that bad. To be honest, isn't that bad, really, is he? So he, his game attack yeah, absolutely he's, nails he's down. Phenomenal. <laughs> as, uh, Dan Murphy has also just put uh, uh, not that bad for pole position. So um, it looks like we've got two not that bads. I, who do I... I'm not going to go for anyone because, you know, I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be kicked out of the commentary box. And, uh, for you. Especially, if I, especially if I predict... Uh, Matt, he would be very unhappy with me. <laughs> so especially if we don't get Paul. <laughs> so um, I, I'm kind of. I'm a bit... Matt, he's uh, out. Oh, oh. Sven's in the barrier into turn two. Oh. That he does damage a lot of front wing. That's all the front wing gone there. So um, it, um so that's that's, that's a bit of a shame. Now. And uh, that is a bad. That's a that's a big old shame there for Sven. So he's now got to come back into the pits. So at the moment, then Matt's got a clear track out. Not many people are interested in going. Like, well, no, not that bad. Well, I just I say that they all come out the pits. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I don't predict anything, guys. Uh, rain last week in China. I didn't think it was going to bucket it down. It absolutely bucketed it down after one lap, and everyone come back in for inters. Uh, that's if you watch yeah, the I elite. Yeah, kind of caught the end of that race. <laughs> He also caught me like predicting very confidently that um, they won't need to go back in for interest, and they did. Um, so um, yeah, that was a that was a crazy race, wasn't it? I was just I was just listening to the commentary, mate. Because it was absolutely excellent. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I need I need some compliments. Um, yeah, <laughs> after after the day I've had, blimey. Yeah, mate, you're very good at doing what you're doing, mate. I I take my hat off to you. Excellent. Do you even wear a hat, Todd? I've never. I, I've, do, do you like hats? Do you, or you're not a fan of a hat? No, no. Well, I used to wear baseball caps when I was a teenager, but now I'm in my thirties. I just sort of dress casually now. I, I must admit, I'm, I used to wear. I used to wear hats. Well, the problem is though that um, people used to steal my hat and throw it over the highest fence because I'm sure it was just like oh, I'll just yeah, give up. That's what I used to do. I used to, throw, <laughs> I used to throw the shortest person's hat over the fence. <laughs> I've got to think it's cruel myself, really, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's shortest, isn't well, it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're just but watching. Yeah, no, you do. You got to have a laugh about it, though, didn't you? Oh, oh yeah. I uh, I cry myself to sleep every night because. Um, <laughs> um, someone threw my John Cena hat over once and that broke me. Anyway, enough about that. Blimey, we're getting right off topic again. We're three minutes into this session and uh, Matt is now on a on a lap. As, uh, this was last week's pole sitter in China. An absolutely phenomenal lap from Matt. Really, um, really stole it away, didn't he? Uh, but um, really good time there. But everyone's on the medium compound tyre, so everyone's uh, uh, the, um, got the same advantage for a qualifier for the race start. And Matt's in the wall! I, he I thought he was going to be wide in the castle section. He's hit the wall, and um, unfortunately, he's going to have to come back in the pit. So that's Sven and Matt in the wall. Eight and three quarter minutes to go. So um, this is. And that's going to definitely hurt Matt now. That is indeed. That's um, basically um, that's ruined basically one run. So he's only going to have one run to go, isn't he? Or do you reckon he's got time to have, uh, come back out and go back in? I reckon he could possibly get two two laps in. Yeah, I think um, if he gets it spot on. Uh, that's a big blow for Matt and uh, for Sven as well. So um, yeah, definitely. And so I think my head's shrunk actually because my headset keeps falling off. Or well, my just because it's a really hot day. It's uh, not that bad. Is now just coming into the final section. Now, of course, uh, he is, as we said, he's got a 40-point lead in the championship already. And remember, there's a maximum of 26 points that is available at this event tonight. And so, whatever happens, he's still going to be leading the championship going into Spain, the first European race of the season next week. But before we even get to the European race, we got a Saturday night special of the Elite League. Is um, is going to be rerunning the Bahrain Grand Prix. Of course, unfortunately, the um, elite, uh, the elite league did finish slightly earlier again last night. I've uh, got a couple of technical gremlins in the old in the old works at the moment. Not that bad, unfortunately. I think invalidated his time, which is a bit of a. We, we, we'll talk about um, invalidating laps in a second with Todd. As Asdog has gone fast on a 39-0. Wow, Asdog has been saving that, hasn't he? Brilliant stuff from Asdog yeah. there. Absolutely phenomenal. Of course, he won his first ever race in RC in China last what year. A dark horse. He definitely is. And, um, and um, uh, Roscoe couldn't match that. He's only second moment. We've got a car in the background. A snap on a 40.5 in the Renault. Uh, so, car, eight, car 80, uh, snap is. 
Uh, Harry is on the lap of the moment. Uh, we got Physico coming across the line. He goes third fast moon. So both Renaults are third to fourth on the second row of the grid. Moment. Nicely done. Uh, Harry is just yeah. coming down to uh, finish this lap. We got Jonathan Cox also on the uh, final run. And uh, not that bad uh, as I think of Bandits. That's the wrong one with Jonathan Cox then. And now he is um, pedal to the metal now for the remainder of the lap. Um, and I think um, he, he's almost going around deployment here. So this might cost him towards the end of the lap. But let's see what he can do. As um, he's over the line. And this is a good time. This is a great time. Oh, he's just off pole position at the moment. A tenth of a second away from, uh, from Vance Dog there. Blimey. That was very close. Very close. That was very close. I thought he got pole position. I really thought he had nicked it there. And what about Harry? And uh, Harry, I think, uh, didn't, uh, it's now on the lap. So... Um, yeah, and so Harry's on the lap now. You really think oh, I should I should be getting better, this, shouldn't I? Anyway, it's not that bad. It's now coming through the uh, final section now. He is, uh, look at this. He's round the deployment quite early on. He hasn't even got onto DRS yet. He's on DRS now, not that bad, but he is coming into the pits. So, um, so yeah, uh, not that bad. He's into the pits. Uh, Matt is also in the pits as well. Sven is out there at the moment. Oh, getting very close to the wall again, Sven is. So Sven is leaving no stone unturned, is he? By literally rubbing up against the um, sto uh, the walls made out of stone. Uh, so now Harry is coming into the castle section now. Of course, car two. I uh, used to be Stoffel Van Dor's number, and uh, now he's coming to the castle section. Where Matt um, and we also lost um, we also lost Diddy Must there as well. We got a bit of debris actually. I think that's Matt's rear, uh, front wing now. But um, yeah, uh, I do apologise to uh, Timmy. He uh, hit the uh, come out the pits. Uh, he came out the pits and hit, went to the wall there. So um, I think a bit like a bit like what um, I think what Penny did earlier on in the session uh, is, uh, is uh, Harry there coming down. You can see you got Jonathan there just uh, cruising back to the pits. Uh, Jonathan does um, does like to have his car very lightly filled indeed. Now Harry then getting a good run out of turn 16. Then here we go. Then he's blasting towards the line now as um, as uh, we are starting to get to the final stage of the qualifying session. This is where it gets really tasty as well. Isn't it? If you love fast cars, this is the best time to. Uh, best time to uh, ha uh, watch these uh, cars isn't it is when they're when they're thin of fuel and they're going at the optimal bus so where does harry goes he goes fifth fast at the moment we got sven in the background uh, where does sven go he goes six fast at the moment he is uh, he's now the meat in the uh, renault sandwich at the moment uh no he isn't uh well unless there's a double meet of uh, harry and sven in the renault sandwich so if renault's a fourth and seventh harry fifth uh, sven in sixth position are you racing out there at the moment he's on an outlap of work Four and a half minutes to go. Let's just take a quick look at what's going up, what's going on up and down. We've got Az Dog who's on the 39-0, 39-1 for Jonathan Cox, 39-2 for Roscoe. Brilliant. Look how close the front three are. And, um, almost three tenths of a separate. Well, just under three tenths of a second separate them. Physico is fourth at the moment. Good time for Physico. Harry's in fifth position. We've got Sven in sixth. Snap is seventh. Are you racing? Is it just about to wind up and start his lap now in eighth position? And um, it's gone very overcast out there, hasn't it? Uh, in ninth position is Matt, and tenth position is not that bad. Not that bad at the time. Yeah, that's gone very overcast, hasn't it, Todd? Do you reckon it's going to rain? Yeah. I, I was saying at the beginning we are going to have rain here. Well, I didn't say we ain't going to see the intermediates or wets, but I might be wrong again. Uh, uh to be honest, mate, I'm not going to make any predictions on the weather because I made that mistake last season. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, do, I do think it was um, China, wasn't it? I think it was Hungary. I thought. Oh yeah, that's it. Sorry, Hungary. My 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 mistake. Oh, don't worry. Um, do you want us all the tracks are uh, kind of the same anyway? They've uh, they've all got like a greyish black um, <laughs> with white lines on the outside, haven't they? So, um, <laughs> yeah. do you want to say um, when you go on a season long uh, season long tour of the world, they all start to feel the same, don't they? Really? As uh, so, um, just on board, of are you racing? And you can see, look at the uh, f look at the uh, foreground out there. You have got the flame towers of Azerbaijan. That's a great sight, isn't it? Uh, but I don't think Ari Racing is not even going to be uh, interested in that one bit. Look at how he went through the castle section there. Absolutely phenomenal. Snap is retired from the session. That's a bit of a shameful snap there. I, mean, I wonder if he's um, hit the wall or if he feels that, um, he's, uh, that he's done what he can. And um, it's now Ari Racing then plowing down then to turn 15 then. Uh, so, to be honest, a lot of these, uh, look at that! He's basically rubbing the wall. He's taking the paint off the uh, Pirelli logo there. Um, is, uh, are you racing and now accelerating away from turn 16? Then now here we go. Then he's going to be on the front now, right up until the finish line. He's got two and a half minutes to go. He's going to have a time for one more run uh, if he harvests. So it's going to be tight, but um, he should be able to get around. But I wonder is, is these tires are one and done? We'll find out in just a few minutes. 
But what are you racing? It's looking very good. He's... No, he's not got pole position, but look at that, 200 of a second between Are You Racing and Jonathan Cox. Is he is he going to harvest or is he going to go back on it? He looks like he's um, attacking again. So Are You Racing is on the front row of the grid. This is looking absolutely great. Sven is on a lap at the moment. He's at two tenths of, the, uh, of a second down at the moment. Physico is starting. No, it's five tenths of a second down. Physico is starting to start. We're going to stay with uh, Sven. Well, he's a second down now. We're going to go back to uh, Physico at the moment. For Physico in the Renault then. On board of Physico, he's fifth at the moment. On the 39 seven, moment, as you can see, there's a, bit, there's a half a second gap between uh, Roscoe and Physico in their uh, fourth and fifth position at the moment. Uh, so we still haven't got we still haven't got times for Matt or not that bad, but they're out of the garage now. Also out is As Dog, Jonathan, and Roscoe. Got your flags floating everywhere at the moment. As uh, we're now coming to the end of this um, of this frantic session, and um, to be honest, uh, uh, what what would you be doing in this situation, uh, Todd? Uh, where what would you um, would you be um, would you like to have had your lap done already, or would you rather have like gone for one lap blinder? Like, um, well, Matt, I don't think Matt and not that bad wanted to do it, but um, they're in that situation now. Would you, would you feel confident enough to go out there and just? Um, Get on it and try and get that. Try and get that pole position. You got nothing left to lose, have you? Really? Surely you should just go for it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I do. I, I'd, I'd sit in the pits and make sure I've got enough time to get out there on an outlap, and then just push as hard as I can. It, it, and, get... Sorry, go on. Oh, it's good to say it also gives you a bit of an adrenaline rush as well. We're on board with physical as he's about to complete us up. We'll uh, we'll finish that discussion in a minute, Todd. As uh, we're going to just we're going to, I think we're going to have a flurry of activity now then for um for uh, for the end of the session then. So Physico is just starting up now. I think there's a Ferrari just in the foreground. It's gone through turn one. Physico goes fifth fast. He's four tenths of a second down. And I think that's it for Physico. So he's going to be fifth fast at the moment. Who else out there? Roscoe is out there at the moment. Uh, we've got Jonathan who's just started up. As Dog and uh, um, Rory Race has finished. As Dog's out there. He's got a bit of traffic in front of him. As Dog has. Is that going to cost him? He's in the castle section now. Uh, so are you racing has finished so it's Sven not that bad is out there at the moment so not that bad I'm thinking as dog are very close together. I wonder if as dog is trying to judge this for a slipstream which is very cheeky but as long as the defending pole position at the moment Roscoe is six thousandths of a second six thousandths of a second there um <laughs> quicker than his time there that might won't be enough to get himself in the fourth position but um it will um it will raise the bar slightly for the guys behind him but maybe he might have a mighty final and he's gone 77 hundreds of a second that i think roscoe was really on the limit there wasn't it? i think he can get more out of that car so uh, very much uh very much um really just um extracted everything out of the car matt is now coming through then so matt this is matt's first attempt then unfortunately after hitting the wall the castle section and not that bad fastest he's got a poor position as dog couldn't respond he tried this slip stream and he didn't make it there unfortunately and what about matt then so not that bad is on pole position and matt goes seven fastest uh, so Matt goes seven fast. There's that uh, Physico is coming around. Uh, Jonathan Cox is also coming around as well. Jonathan Cox hasn't um, improved this time now. Harry's also coming around as well. What about Jonathan? Jonathan coming up to the finish line. He's fourth for the moment. He goes third. He's a uh, displaced. Are you racing? Physico is coming around. He's three tenths off the pace. Physico is, but he is still going for it. Fignant, uh, that's sixth position for Physico. And what about Harry? Harry coming across the line, and uh, he stays. I think he stays eighth, doesn't he? You did. Yeah. As, oh, what uh, a qualifying session that was. That was indeed. I must apologise to not that bad because um, we missed this pole position lap. And it was a phenomenal pole position lap. It was like two tenths of a second in front of Asdog. Asdog was uh, on pole right up until the uh, right up until the end there. So front row of the grid is not that bad. And Asdog, Jonathan Cox is third. Are you racing this fourth? Fifth position is at Roscoe. Then six is at Physico. Matt down in seventh position with Harry in eighth. Uh, Sven is in ninth. And tenth position is Snap. Snap only did one run, as did Matt. And not that bad, but not that bad. Only needed one run. Incredible stuff. So I'm um, going. We're going into the race now. So, uh, to be honest, I must admit, going into the race then, uh, Todd, what, what do you think? What do you think is the what's going to happen? Do you reckon? Uh, to be honest, it's very hard to look past. Not that bad at the moment, isn't it? In terms of uh, how how well he's going in the beginning of the session, he's just uh, unstoppable. He he is in a hundred percent in form this season. He's he, doing phenomenally well. 
he is, isn't he? You know, of course, he finished third last season in the championship in Toronto. He was probably one of the favourites, uh, one of the bookie favourites as well to um, to, um, to to get uh, to to take the title as well. Of course, got a couple of predictions already. Uh, not that bad. Is um, it looks like he's a hot favourite amongst the fans out there. And uh, Todd, uh, Todd also thinks that uh, not that bad. He's got a command in them. It's just driving absolutely sweet at the moment. He's in the sweet spot. We were talking about how and um, how and how hard it is for drivers to get out of a um, to get out of a rough patch. But when you're in a sweet spot, it's kind of hard to be beaten as well, isn't it? As we're just looking at the uh, makeshift pits, and of course these pits get um, deconstructed at the end of this event and put away for a year. Uh, I find it amazing how it's kind of like pop up tents, isn't it? <laughs> well, obviously it's a bit more yeah, than tents, it's, but <laughs> it's phenomenal how quickly this track is formed and then how quickly it can be dismantled. It is, isn't it? And of course, I think, and I think Ted Kratz was showing, um, was showing how, um, was showing um, basically where it's stored. We got twenty six laps around Azerbaijan now. It doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But it, <laughs> to be honest, it is. It's, um, it's a long old lap. This is uh, the second longest lap in the calendar. On the calendar, let's go through the um, grid then for this race. We're so on the formation lap. This looks like the probably a fun lap, but it's anything but. They've got this. Is all scientific, isn't it? They know, they need to know exactly what they're doing. So, pole position is not that bad. Alongside not that bad is Azdog, who is second. Jonathan Cox is third. Are you racing this fourth? Roscoe in fifth position. Ooh, sixth position. There is a physical there. Seventh is Matt. There's a physical We're having a bit of lag over there at the moment. Eighth position is Harry. Ninth is Sven, who's, um, to be honest, doesn't even want to warm up his tyres. Tenth position is Snap. Wee John is... Oh, it looks like both houses have come together because both of them are, uh on the grid already maybe they're just keen well <laughs> Gunter Steiner might um <laughs> might give him one of the wrath of Gunter Steiner as well Gunter's not happy with Kevin or Roman he probably won't be happy with we John or Sven uh, at the moment uh Super Super C is 12 third position is Penny who is also on the grid so uh, Penny not feeling like the formation lap either uh 14 position is at Timmy 15 position is Didymus of course he can't, unfortunately had a bit of an issue in the um qualifying around there Dave is in at 60 position and Dave is really not um, is really not feeling like the need to get on with this. Uh, in 70 uh, 60 position and double of course he's not been very well as of late it's an 18th position so um, of course remember we've had a couple of drivers that have not been well in drove race uh, Mark Weber in 2007 Fiji a uh, Fuji sorry I keep saying Fiji that's a country isn't it um, <laughs> so um, so uh, Fuji of course Mark Weber has food poisoning uh, so the tyre selection is everyone's on the medium tyres apart from Dave and going double on the harder compound tyre and of course we have got um, Timmy who is on the soft compound tyre so we expect Timmy to be lightning off the start so um, this is going to, as I was just watching Dave is, um, he's uh, really quite a way beyond isn't he I, of course we did say uh, when we uh, chatted to Dave in China he was saying there's a bit of sport, a bit of gamesmanship going on wasn't there with the formation lab and he's doing that again Todd where he's just holding um, basically taking as long as he can to get around the uh, front of the grid so the, all the guys um, working this the formation lab has basically yeah. been undone <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a big gap to the next lot of cars. It is, isn't it? Uh, to be honest, that, that, that is very clever, isn't it? Really, it's. Um, uh, I think uh, Dave trying to get every, um, basically trying to every, uh, every trick in the book here, of course. So, as uh, I'm to be honest, I think a lot of people out there are hoping that Dave gets his uh, first points uh, this afternoon. Of course, um, like uh, Timmy and Wee John Smart, of course, Andrew Dan and Fortune is not in the race today. As uh, Dave is still a uh, Dave, and uh, look, they're all just waiting for um, Dave and uh, Double to come around. Then, so they're on a leisurely, uh, uh, just a leisurely drive to the pits there, and a great onboard shot here of the uh, Red Bull. As um, they're now coming across that then so we're all lined up and ready to go. Double, this is going to be. Um, uh, sorry, uh, Todd, this is going to be amazing, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to yeah, this. It's uh, going to be a very interesting race tonight. It is indeed, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and I'm sure, and I'm sure all you guys are watching watching this stream as well. As you can see in the background, Dave has finally arrived, <laughs> and we're ready to get racing. Then here in Azerbaijan, round four of the Super League IRC, and uh, here we go. Then we have five sets of lights running. Uh, come on, and when they go up, we'll be racing. There's no green anymore because uh, the F1 drivers never even the guys don't even look for green, do they? They, they react so quick, they just react as soon as the red lights go out, and we'll be racing in Azerbaijan and we are go 
and it's a um, it's a goal. It's a good start from double at the moment. Uh, Dave's had a bit of a poor start, but look at this, and it's coming down to another fourth, and you're flying for his own. You're racing. He um, probably took a bit too much, and that's a McLaren. That's a McLaren in the background of Penny. Penny's gone off already, and he's just oh my gosh, and that's a bit of contact. Jonathan has gone into the wall there, and uh, one uh, physical that's the session. He's got issues. I think Penny is also we've got Yo flying one, Yo flying one, then and uh, someone's just recovering as well as Davis. I uh, think just cruising because uh, I think he knows the chaos that happens here. As oh, we got big contact, and uh, oh my gosh, that's a McLaren. That's right, that's a Mercedes. And uh, physicals after session, unfortunately, he's got problems. I think, and that's Sven is a hundred bit of a it's, oh my gosh, we got a bit of a good old crash there, haven't we? And who's that? It's a uh, snap, isn't it? Snap it, snap is in the wall. Oh, that's a he's got yeah. lost a lot of front oh. wing there. Uh, it uh, looks like uh, it, oh, and the front wing just went flying up in the air then. Uh, not that bad, Lee's house dog second there, Jonathan. Got wing damage completely, no wing, all gone. Uh, oh, that's a shame there, as, as you can see, they're just coming from the castle station for the first time, Tim. Oh! And who was that? I think I was dealing with some I got through there. Uh, I'm surprised you got, yeah, Super C's got no front wing, as uh, as uh, Todd said there. Uh, double up in the 14th, uh, Dave is in 15th, Dave is not in no rush. He wants to finish this race, I think, and snap all the way down in 70th position. So come through the complete lap one, then it's, uh, so uh, not that bad there. It's five tenths of a second there in front of Asdog, who is second. Third position is uh, Jonathan. Yellow flag in two, yellow flag in two, what's going on? Uh, just taking a quick look. Got another yellow flag in two as well. Just taking a look. As a oh, we're worried about that in a minute because look at this. We're going two and three, and then, then the Aztec is coming for the. There's another back on the wall. I'm not sure, but they look at this. They're going wheel to wheel. We're coming down into it. We got a yellow flag in three. Got a yellow flag in three. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Not that bad. He's got a fast lap, but Aztec is going on the outside. He's through. He's through, but he, and he's gone a bit wide there because um, Aztec is coming back on the inside, and you can see. And there's physicals at the session. Physicals at the session again, and. Um, Aslan's got down to his front wing, I believe. Jonathan is in the pits. Jonathan's in the pits. Did he was... Oh, that's interesting. I thought Dave was just hanging back, so maybe he had a problem. As uh, Dog leads the Aspoch Angle Grand Prix, and now we've got a bit of a queue here. You can see, I think we had a bit of debris there on the outside. As uh, a look at this, and oh, and Aslan there. The uh, who's gone the medium? Snap, is that? Oh, uh, Dave, Dave, is it? Dave's gone the medium yeah. tires. And look at this! Now, look at it! They're gone. They're all over us, dog. Then here, take a seat. Then there, look at there's Matt in the fifth position. Both so the top five are in the same shot here. Oh my gosh! Are you racing? Go for it! Oh my gosh! How did he? <laughs> Fly me! Uh, now they're coming to the castle section. They all love the shot here from us, dog. And you can see, you've got to be very careful around the, the castle section. They got yellow flagging to one in three at the moment. What's going on? Just taking it. Oh, oh! And then uh, Steve Penny, who's um, that's gone a bit wide there. Are you racing? Roscoe's up in the third position, and says Penny is just recovering. And uh, that, are you, what's on? Are you racing? He's dropping down. He's dropping down. It's are you racing? Got damage. Oh, he's. Oh my gosh! He dies. Oh, dies. Appalling. And are you racing? And bird. And Harry is out of the race there. And um, that is, I think, uh, a bit disappointing there for are you racing there. He is quick, Very but cars out. I'm not surprised because, uh, and that, that's it, uh, uh, turn 15. Oh, but that's I've gonna hurt both of them guys. I'm thinking, I think it is. I think that that is. Um, the are you racing was going for a move that shouldn't have been on there, and I feel that Harry might be very un unhappy with that. And um, both drivers are out of the uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, Roscoe, as the DRS is enabled, and I think we're, go we're going green again, are we? Matt's up in the third position because we've got Azdog in the pits, and so we're back green. Are you racing? This left the session, unfortunately, as Azdog is um, out of the race there. As um, as um. And I think uh, the comments are already coming in saying that, uh, yeah, because I think Harry is going to be very disappointed with that as well. So as you can see, Roscoe is gaining, gaining, gaining. We've got, yo, flag, Sven is out! Sven is out of the race! Fly me, they're dropping like flies at the moment. Is, um, what's happening? It's in turn two, is it? I don't know. We're having a look. Oh, yes, he's in turn two there. He has parked his car on the exit there. Um, so is it as dog is come down, it's not finishing. They've got to be careful because there's a yellow, there's a yellow flag. Oh, Jonathan, they're getting a bit um, yeah, yeah, squirmy there. D Dave is out there, but look at this. Roscoe leads. Roscoe leads the Asperger Hand Grand Prix. Then as they come through the um, come through and blimey, it's all going on. And Penny's in the pits. Um, as we're really struggling to keep up with this action. Blimey, Todd. I'm struggling to keep up as well. <laughs> oh, it is my. Such an, oh, it's such an action back race so far. I know we're only on lap three. My gosh! Um, I, I tell you what. Oh, uh, yeah, I you think um, to, uh, I was thinking about joining the gym. I don't really need to join the gym at all, do I? Really? I just need um, just to watch these races over and over again. As um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> 
Blast Better. It's a, <coughs> as at the moment, then Roscoe leads. Uh, second edition is not that bad. Matt is in third position. Tibby! It's up at the fourth! Phenomenal start from Tibby on the soft compound tires as well. He's done a really good job that Tibby has. Wee John is in fifth. Um, I think he's damaged his front wing now. He's struggling there. Physico is in sixth, but he is... Um, He's a bit, he's a bit ghostly at the moment. As he is not in the race. As uh, uh, Adstog is just going to get by. Uh, he's, I think he's a bit tense there, isn't he? Because um, sometimes uh, you cannot be sure. Uh, so is it Roscoe and Roscoe's but not the baddest back through. This is what this track's great. At. Roscoe is going to hang on the outside, is it? No, because not the part's got it. We've got yo flagging through that too. That's um, who is it? That's a uh, penny. Out. Penny is out of the race. So we've lost four drivers already after four laps. As, uh, just to, we're going to take a look up and down the field a bit because there's action all over the place at the moment. As um, as long as now up into I'm sixth position. Know, it's built and Matt's just set the fastest lap, one forty-five one. And that can be very. That, of course, uh, Matt has uh, dubbed himself the king of Baku, didn't he? As he won this race, um, <laughs> as he won this race, didn't he? He's had two pole positions around here as well. As uh, Ross Keller was all over the back of not that bad at the moment. Where's Matt gone? As uh, Matt damaged his front wing there, because it looks like he got a bit squirmish out of uh, turn six there, I believe it was. As uh, you can see that coming into the castle section. We'll keep an eye as Jonathan Cox is now all over the back of Physico. Physico is not technically in this race at the moment. And this is the battle for the lead then. Roscoe then, who, um, who we feel should have had more points than what he has got at the moment. Double up in the ninth for the moment. Did he must up in the tenth. Dave is almost in the points as well. Snap is in twelfth position. Thirteenth is Super Steve, who is back in the pits. I think Super Steve's already had a bit of a stop, hasn't he? So this might be a second one after four laps already. He shouldn't be able to get to the end at the moment. Uh, as... Um, as we're now coming through then to uh, come through then to uh, complete the uh, full flap then, and they're starting to get spread out at the moment. Blimey, Todd, sum that all less, uh, sum that up for us in like <laughs> the first four laps. Remember, we still got another um, twenty odd laps to go. Incredible, amazing. Told us, I think that's the told us, I think it's summed up pretty well, really. It's been absolutely amazing stuff. Anyway, it's hard as up the session because Ross goes. Oh, he's done it, he's done it, he's... Oh, great move, great move. And, yeah. he, and he slammed the door shut there. He didn't want that bad to come no, back on the outside, did he? So um, brilliant, no, brilliant, really brilliant stuff there. And of course, what this track does is uh, it lends you to um, it really lends you to go uh, wheel to wheel. I'm impressed with Timmy at the moment. Timmy had a very um, had a had a bit of a unfortunate debut race in uh, China, but uh, here this weekend he is uh, this race. He's absolutely flying. Jonathan's through. Asdog's in the pits. Asdog and Wee John are in the pits. Asdog's got another problem, I think, which is unfortunate. And uh, is Jonathan damaged his front? No, he hasn't. He's or no he has he's damaged the end plate on that Ferrari because it's very this is a very um, perilous oh, uh, race that bag is right on the back of Roscoe so, and, oh look at this then it's, um, of course this yeah. is um, <laughs> this is going to get he had very look and then he thought better of it and of course <laughs> there's nowhere to overtake around here is it? so Os um, Roscoe can go oh he's in the wall Roscoe's out of the race he's out he's out of the race there and uh, Roscoe oh he's going to be kicking himself he's going to the wall in the um, in the uh, castle section and Roscoe is out of the uh, out of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix that is very disappointing indeed for Roscoe isn't it oh can you sum yeah, up definitely. can you sum up his feelings there Todd oh my gosh uh, I, I missed what you said there, George. Oh, don't worry, a lot of people will do, uh, so, especially <laughs> when I get high pitch. Um, I, I, could, I, choice, I don't, I don't think you can. But uh, we'll come back to the mic because Diddy is up the inside. Roscoe oh, Sanchez, Sanchez, because Diddy Mercer got the wall. He's in the wall, and uh, I think he's, um, he's, he's all right ish Oh, blimey! Oh, I'm, George, I'm on the edge of my seat. I thought he was going back in the wall there. As, um, yeah, as Dave is now for the ninth position. As long as up to the tenth. Oh my gosh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, but uh, Roscoe, from the lead of the race, where, to be honest, he didn't really need to go that quick, did he, around that section? No, uh, no he, he could have took his time going around there, and then oh. he wouldn't have gone out the way. But very disappointing for Roscoe. Uh, it is, isn't it? I think that um, I think that really he's going to be inconsolable at the moment. Diddy must have dropped down a couple positions there. Because look at this, as uh, Dave is up to a position, as Dog is up to nine position, he's gaining, gaining, gaining. And uh, you can see then the bat. Oh, got your flag and one. What, what's happening in one? We're having a look, we're having a look. Bat uh, marker just getting out of the way. Oh, uh, it's a bat marker just getting out of the way there. Thanks, Todd. And now we're coming back to the battle here for 8th position. As Dog is on the outside going in turn one. Oh, this is good. He's done it. 
And you can see that's a very super card. Dave's gone very wide. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how did they keep out the, out the barriers there? Fantastic stuff. A very super card there uh, that uh, um, adds on to at the moment because he was on the front row of the grid, wasn't he? He's, um, well, the uh, top three are very close together now. They are indeed, and that Timmy, Timmy is doing a great job of the one course, uh, you, can see, you see they're just like super steep at the moment, who's in a 12th position, but lovely camera shot here of Azerbaijan, look how unreal this racetrack is, they're going through the Azerbaijan buildings here, look at this, um, it's the, I think it's the old town section this part is, and now they're coming through and they're looping around and coming back to the, uh, back to the start finish straight at the moment then, and uh, you can see we've got 20 more laps to go of this, so I um, hope you guys uh, brought some water, uh, luckily I have, but I've only brought a half a litre bottle, so I might need more than that. Anyway, as Matt, Matt is now uh, Matt is now gaining, gaining, gaining on um, not that bad at the moment, because not that bad is um, almost uh, almost perfect in this uh, race so far, isn't he? Double is up into fifth position. He's having a great race, isn't he? Double is he finished fourth for your last season? Is Matt gonna have oh, a look? Matt's going for it. No, he's thought better of it. Yeah, I think he, I think he thought better of that, and he didn't feel he didn't yeah. feel that, that was a you know, good idea. Uh, just go back down and look back down the. Uh, oh, you fall! And I think that that's Wee John, and uh, Snap is out of the race. Unfortunately, I think it's at the cat. I would uh, assume it's in at the castle section because um, we just had a look at Wee John gone wide there. As Dog is out gaining on, um, he's gaining on Wee John. Wee John is all over the place there. And uh, oh, and into the pits comes Timmy. Timmy's into the pits, and they set. He's gone to meet hard combat tires. He's gonna be able to get to the end of the hard combat tires. We'll come back to that question in just a few minutes because As Dog is uh, all over the back of Wee John. Wee John there is um, going to have to def start thinking about the fence. He's gone to the middle of the track, and oh, oh my gosh, and look. And, and as dogs up the inside, we John giving him enough for it. Oh my gosh! And have gone into the wall there, as dog is. Uh, maybe, maybe they should give him a bit more space. Dave, oh great! Um, oh, that's how what emergency break on that red ball. Very good indeed. And now Asdog once again all over the back of Weejon. Weejon there defending this. But now is uh, Asdog goes on the inside then into turn three. And he is through and up into uh, seventh position. Um, yeah, just going back to uh, Super City has left the session, unfortunately. Um, so uh, he's at 11 for the moment. But yeah, going back to that, um, uh, back to Timmy at the moment. He's done. Um, do you think be able to get to the end for compound tires from there, uh, Todd? Uh, possibly. It'd be very, very, uh, very, very tight on tyre wear as well. That's going to be the main issue. It, it is. is tyre wear. If you can nurse those tyres and grab a good result. I reckon he, he could go to the end on them parts. Uh, and to be honest, so even if he doesn't, um, uh, he's almost got a pit stop. Um, he's almost got a pit stop uh, lead over um, over a double who's up in the fifth position. Of course, it's been carnage everywhere. And uh, Matt was gaining on it, not that bad there, wasn't he? Is uh, just um, we're keeping on the battle between uh, Dave and uh, Wee John as well. Wee John is um, starting start, start to struggle for pace. I think he's down his front wing. So. Uh, I think I'm hoping that uh, Jeff has told Dave about that because um, you know because he might be stopping suddenly here, and you can see is As Dog's got a problem. As Dog's got a problem. He's dropping back, and Dave is through. He's up. He's by Wee John, and now he's going to switch to the outside. He's going to switch to the outside, and you can see. I wonder if As Dog has damaged his front wing. He has. I think he has. He's in the pit. Yeah, he's in the pit. I was talking in the pits again, and now Dave is up into uh, sixth position. Then, so good driving from Dave there. So he has avoided most of the carnage, and he is now up into sixth position. This is some, this is good points there for um, Dave today. He needs to, he just wants to keep it calm and steady. Uh, so As Dog is back in the pits, and so As Dog is not having a very good day at the moment, uh, unfortunately. As uh, so his teammate Didymus is uh, coming for as well, but back. Oh, snap for the session, unfortunately, and. Um, is that we as we as we john is still five tenths behind so he's still in the um he's still in the uh dr zone at present as uh, uh matt has dropped out of the dr zone of not that bad so i wonder if he made a mistake there uh so that's that's a bit unfortunate for matt at the moment. so strategies all over the place at the moment um at, at this moment todd then uh what um you did say you want to be on the uh, medium compound tires what tire what if he was on the medium compound tires now what would you be thinking would you be thinking i need to get to a certain lap before going on to the hard compound tires or are you thinking that uh, i might need to much get need to get a bit more attack game to be honest it does depend though on, uh, on where you are in the race really doesn't it but yeah. uh, <laughs> um, if i was in in this midfield scrap with dave we john and physical I would say I, I would try and nurse my tyres but go longer on, on the mediums um, and then hopefully 
good tyre wear, I should be able to put the hards on a lot later. And in terms of tyre wear, were you twinkle toes with the uh, with your tyre wear? Did you did you um, did you have a lot of tyre wear when you uh, raced around here, or did you feel that uh, you were pretty good with the uh, with the tyre wear? Uh, my tyre wear was pretty good actually. Uh, Probably because I had braking assist on, <laughs> but you know, e even with braking assist assist off, uh, I can usually have good tyre wear. And um, we'll come back to our conversation in a minute because I think we John just took a um, a very optimistic lunge on physical there. I've done for physical's damage his car. Uh, double is dropped down six now. Tim is now all over the back of Jonathan. Jonathan's done seven last on this hard compound tires. We've also got a bit of a battle brewing here, and a double has let Physico go by there. So double is on his own race. He doesn't. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to be involved in any scraps. He knows what tire, what the strategy is on at the moment. And as uh, just taking a quick look at the uh, order, not that bad. Is uh, starting to pull away from Matt. It's now 1.7 seconds. 20 seconds back is Jonathan Cox at the moment, who is in third, but he's being hounded by Timmy. Timmy is uh, and not that bad in the pit, so not that bad is coming to the pit on lap 10. Do you think that's early, Todd? Or do you reckon that is bang on what he wants for one stopper? Uh, I think, I think he's, yeah, I think he knew when he wanted to go in the pit. So yeah. I reckon he will go to the end on those guys now. And uh, Jonathan in as well. Jonathan's in quite early for the. Uh, as a look, that not that bad. It's already out just in front of his teammate Timmy there. Jonathan in the pits as well. Quite surprised how early Jonathan's come in the pits. He was on the Hork of Buntar. So Timmy is now in the third position. Jonathan Cox is in the pits. And you can see there he is as well. Dave, is he going to come in the pits or is he staying out at the moment? And you can see in the background now Physico has returned to the race. And uh, he is now going to be starting to. Um, he's going to start to really get involved in these parts here. As Dog is now coming back through the field once again. He's had a couple of pit stops already in this race. We're on lap 10, and um, we're on board with him as he's getting on Didibus now. Look at this then. So he loves DRS right now, but he's already, he, look at that, and so he's got a very slippery car. Didibus has done three laps on those uh, soft compound tires, and he's in the pits, that uh, Didibus is. So as Asdog set the fast lap race, he's definitely going for that bonus up at the moment. Uh, so you can see um, Wee John in the pit, so he is uh, changing from Wee. He did have a wild lunge at Physico uh, just um, earlier on in this uh, race. Uh, as a Super Stee, who unfortunately, I think you just in the comment section, is a uh, lost connection there, which is a bit unfortunate there. Uh, as um, just on board, then Physico, and in front of us is a uh, Dave at the moment. So Dave is, um, so uh, yeah, Dave is uh, up in the fifth position. Uh, six positions, Physico has joined the, uh, joined the race now. So, yeah, so uh, Super Steve just said in the comments there that he has lost connection, which is a bit unfortunate for um a bit unfortunate for super steve hopefully he can get back in the race because he's just outside the points at the moment and at the moment super steve hasn't gotten the points at the moment and nor has we john but this is a good day for points physico absolutely on a proper wrestle with a car there um that was a very good shot there for physico there just showing that these tires are almost coming to the end of their life here uh, but Physico is um, oh, wrestling with the car. Ooh, touching the wall. He's damaged his end plate, that Physico has. That is going to hurt him, I think, especially with the tyres. Um, there comes to the end of the life, of course. Uh, so it's uh, Super Steve is back in the race. He is, uh, and, he's, and he does have chance for points here, doesn't he? As um, we, as it's been a high attrition rate already in this race. So, uh, yeah, good stuff to see uh, Super Steve back in at the moment. Uh, so Matt is still out there, so he's extending that run. Yellow flag in two, because Diddy Mus is out of the race. Virtual safety car. Is, is, do you reckon it's a good time to come in? I think it's a perfect time to come in, isn't it, Todd? Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Uh, I reckon it'd be good for Matt to come in now. I think Matt's too far around at the moment, though, isn't he? I think the virtual safety car should end by the time Matt comes in. It's absolutely perfect. Dave, Dave's got a problem, though. Dave is in the pits. Why is Dave in the pits for? And uh, now he comes out of the pits now. Uh, Double didn't choose the time to pit there, so Dave had a bit of an issue there. Of course, the reason why it's a good uh, opportunity to pit under the safety car, under the virtual safety car, is because everyone else is limited to their speed. In the pits, you're not, you're only limited by the pit limiter, so you're technically going slightly quicker, and it kind of halves the time at the pits. So the RS is back and able to get. Dave has made a stop now, and he is on the medium compound tire again there, David. So. Ooh, I reckon he might need. To, I reckon he's going to get into the end of the race on that from that strategy. And I think he needs to pit anyway. And look at this, As Dog and Wee John. As Dog is through. Oh my gosh! And As Dog with a bit of a wild lens there on Wee John, and it's damaged his front wing again. Now I think that was a bit too much. I think that was a bit of a. Um, I think that might have been a bit uh, optimistic there. Race leaders in. Race leaders in. 
Race Steel is in the pits. Our dog is in the pit. It's in the wall again. Uh, so you see, our dog's had a bit of issues. Super Steel is now in the 10th position. Hopefully, Super Steel needs to get back in the car, but he gets no points. Uh, Race Steel is in the pits. So Matt is in the pits now. So the question is, and as you can see, then we watch the Toro Rosso guys go to work then. And um, you can see there, he's in and out. Great time then. It's uh, spectacular to watch Nifu and uh, piss on that. Oh, it, look at this. Matt's going to come out in front. Where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. Where is Matt? Matt, yeah, there he is. Matt's he, in front. He yeah, takes the lead. It. Brilliant stuff. It's fair enough for the session. But look at this. Matt is coming up. But of course, he has to get those tires up to temperature. Now, the overcut is working a treat from that air. And look, another body. That, uh, oh, my God. Oh, this is going to get very yeah, tasty. No, he, he done well to back out of that. He did indeed. Matt Place is kind of good for the opportunity as well. And uh, of course, uh, not opening. He gave uh, gave all that. But our dog is out of the race. I think um, I think he was having issues when he he's got he's retired in turn 15. Uh, so, yeah, in turn 15. There, of course, that's the uh, down section. So, unfortunately, Matt, and not that bad for battling. That's giving Timmy a chance to catch up. Indeed, it is. You can see this is definitely up in Tim as well. Tim is uh, only a second behind. He's almost in DRS Raging 7, turns away from DRS at the moment, from the castle station at the moment. Uh, yo, flagging too. Uh, it's still, and that's for as dogs crash. So, as you can see, guys like Super SD and Wee John, good day for points here today, isn't it? Definitely. And um, of course, uh, this. I, 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 and of course, I have my best ever result in ORC. I finished uh, six or seven for last year. And that's only because there's only seven cars. So, um, <laughs> so as you can see, then as they're coming around, then to complete lap 12, not that bad. It's um, it's saved up a lot of errors now. So, even, and you can see, look at him. He's now about to turn it up. He's going to turn out to the max shortly. Uh, well, he's not turned to the max yet, has he? Look at the understeer when he when you're behind the car. That is incredible, isn't it? You can see how to almost back oh, out of front there. He has turned up the ears now, and he looks this, he's gaining. Where's oh. Matt? Look at this. Matt, so Matt's gonna, he's um, going on the inside there. And uh, you can see that Matt not to, fighting too hard for that one, oh, is he? Matt, no, no, he, he, he was wise to back out of there. I think he would. could have been very catastrophic for both drivers. It is, and I think Matt might be now buying this time there because um, he could. Um, because he might have DRS next time around at the same section, I believe. He might even have DRS as Jonathan Cox at the first half of the race. He is, uh, oh, is Matt going to go for it? Oh my gosh, and, um, you can see there, not that bad, giving him plenty of room oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Blimey, I thought he was going to go for it in turn three. Great. Absolutely brilliant racing. Absolutely phenomenal stuff, and we're at half distance, but we will not. Um, Everyone, as uh, Dave is now all over the back of another uh, of a uh, double. Double is coming into the pit, so so double in the pits. He's only just gone half distance on the. Ooh, yo, flying free. Why is there yo flying free? Uh, just taking a quick look. Well, no reason to be honest. Uh, so just taking a look. Uh, so now, oh, not that bad. Uh, not that bad. Went a bit, um, went a bit deep there into the castle section. He damages from wing. It looks okay to us. And uh, now you can see, oh, you can see the. And look, Tim is all over the back of these guys, isn't he now? So Tim is really in this fight at the moment. Great to see. He had a, he had a bit difficult opening race in China, but definitely he's on it here today, isn't he? He's looking very much, uh, very much a strong driver here today, and it's great to see yeah. Tim up there. We got a freeway. We got a freeway battle. Jonathan is also gaining on him as well, but he's 16 seconds back. I think that uh, I think that if he wants to, be, he needs a safety car really for Jonathan to be in this realistically. But um, of course, uh, Jonathan should, with that result, move him back up into third position in the oh, championship. Oh, Timmy's going for it. He is going for it as well. Look at this. We're on board with uh, Timmy at the moment, and then you can see that wheel to wheel coming down the street. Well, another bad is also. Oh my God! No, no, on the outside, and Matt's Matt's on the outside. Tim's going to have a look at that. Oh, Matt's gone wide, and uh, Matt and double. Oh, for, and, uh, oh we got we got a part come off. That was that's a wing come off somewhere. Who's that off? I think that's off Timmy. I think Timmy's down that his is front off wing. Timmy, yeah. Oh, that's but not. End, uh, the end plates come off. Oh dear, that's not good for Timmy. He's going to struggle now, isn't he? And now uh, you can see not that bad. It's having a, as, again just, uh, just making sure that Matt's paying attention there. And uh, you can see, and, and that is going to be a big blow for Timmy, though, isn't it? Uh, it's going to be awful understeer, isn't it, throughout the rest of the race for Timmy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And um, <coughs> yeah, so um, that's going to lose him. That's going to lose him valuable time as well, as you can see there. But not that bad. It's all over the back of Matt. He's he's all over Matt like a bad suit at the moment. As uh, they're um, battling away, coming up into the castle section. Now Tim's already lost a second, and he in the first sector alone. That yeah, is yeah. that is. That's going to hurt bad because he was doing so well. He was. Uh, do you reckon he was a bit optimistic again? A bit. Um, I think he was a bit getting a bit over excited. A bit hungry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if they're hungry to get the lead, I think. 
it's a shame really it's uh john is uh, the, the front with these cars are quite big and the front wings stick out quite um quite a lot as uh you can see that matt there is out currently the moment as tim is dropping down and he's now 1.4 seconds behind jonathan cox is still reeling them in of course he's on the um he's on the medium compound tire i don't think he's going to be able to get the end and also dave's on the medium compound tire as well and so far as they went to the medium i thought he would have gone on to the uh hard tire there but um, maybe he's trying to alternative strategy to um rustle the feathers of a jonathan and maybe even physico as well i think jonathan might be slightly too far in front of david mo but david's still in the race and hopefully he can get some decent points uh uh, no, no, not that bad there. Eh? Matt turned that up right to the right to the edge there. Matt's gone in a bit too deep. Tim is in the pit, so Tim is in the pit. But Matt uh, is a uh, Guffy goes to turn his horse up as well now. And now I uh, think Matt's going to have to harvest, isn't he? Now for the remainder of the lap to uh, keep Tim be uh, to keep not that bad behind. Jonathan Colton's up in the third. Oh, Tim is going to go for it into turn three. And just before turn three and he is through so uh, not that bad it's up into back him into the lead there and um yeah don't really see many people overtake there but uh, not that bad leads and um matt has now dropped down the second john forgot his third well his team come out he is now out in fourth position in the mercedes he is on the medium compound tires so that should get him to the end of the race so uh yeah jonathan 15 seconds back there and he's still gaining on the leads moment dave is um well he says he's 41 seconds that's not the case dave in fifth position physical and sixth Double in seventh for the moment. We John in eighth and a super in ninth position. Well, as always in tenth position. Uh, even though did, even though he did not finish, I think you should get points from now. So um, it's uh, well, for guys, dog. Of course, he's front championship at the moment. Uh, 47, uh, 47 points behind, uh, which is really a shame, really, because Asdog has, ha has had the pace in, in qualifying, hasn't he? He's got a similar yeah. issue. Oh, and Matt, that really cut in the corner there. Um, I figured you had the same issue as you had, Todd, where you had good qualifying pace, but unfortunately in the race, it's just uh, struggled to get uh, just struggled to get to the end at the moment for our dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's horrible when when you have brilliant quality pace, but then you go into the race and and you have all these problems and oh, it's just a nightmare. And uh, we'll come back to that in a minute, because look at that, not that bad as weaving, isn't he, from left to right there to try and break the slipstream. And uh, Matt is at the inside, and oh, and look at that, not that bad oh. there, keep it on. Uh, but now we're not, uh, now Matt is on the inside, going into turn two, he is through. He, that's a very unorthodox to overtake a maneuver there, but he's done a good job there, Matt, as he's uh, through into turn two. But not that bad, who overtook Matt here, and you can see he's already turning up again. And once again, these two are battling wheel to wheel, going down to turn three, and Matt is um, outbreaked him. Oh, my my gosh and Matt is hugging on the outside brilliant I don't know how not that bad didn't lose his end plate then very good indeed of course it's good awareness isn't it to uh, make to know where your wing is and uh, of course Matt yeah. gave him space as well so brilliant driving from these guys of course we had Roscoe and not that bad last week didn't we in an absolutely phenomenal and faultless battle and now we've got Matt in uh, not that bad so not that bad even though he's almost uh, even although he's almost got a full house of points He's had to be made to work for it for most of these races so far. And now we're on board and not that bad then as you can see then on board the side at the moment. And you can see they're trying to take the front. Jonathan Cox is really hunting them down then at the um at the coming out to this. Um yeah, it's, uh, Matt ha is definitely making not that bad work for this win. Definitely. I could, I could watch these two all night. <laughs> uh, to honest, I really hope they do uh, fight all night to be honest because this is absolutely phenomenal stuff for the Battle Fleet. Once again, just like in China, not that bad is battling, <laughs> is battling for his win, isn't it? Phenomenal stuff. We just yeah. had a couple of comments there. Um, as, uh, not like just, uh, that they're just coming up to the uh, start first time again. You see, not that bad there is uh, turned up the earth to the, almost to the max again. And look at him gaining, gaining it. Look at the power of the slipstream, the power of earth, and now the power of DRS as well. And look at this as he's gaining, gain. oh my gosh! I thought he was there playing crash out. Not that bad, it's on the outside. He is going, Matt is going to have a lunch on the inside. We're on board, he's on board. Where is he? Where is he? He's there, he's there. He's on the inside, then got into two. And not that bad, he's uh, <laughs> feigning the look on the inside into turn two. Of course, Matt overtook him on the inside of turn two oh a lap or so ago and now once again there it is not that bad it's really quick um out of turn two and three here and blimey look how did he not lose his front wing there and now matt is on the outside and not that bad it's a lot further around the inside but matt is keeping it wow wow he is still free he's still in the lead he's still in the lead that is phenomenal stuff and he stays in the lead matt does. amazing rating right between these two oh brilliant stuff isn't it absolutely showing him um, <laughs> I, I think driver of the day is going to be between these two. 
Uh, it definitely is. Um, to be honest, we also got to give a shout out for um, as John from Cox is still 11.4 seconds behind now, so he's really getting. Got to give a shout out to Timmy as well. I must admit, phenomenal. After China, um, I think after China, really bounced back to this race. It's been great stuff. Uh, of course, uh, Dave as well started near the back of the field, but he's up into fifth position. Double doing a great job as well in sixth position. Of course, uh, for she's as we said before, I'm doing very well, but he's doing a great job today to um, battle. For to uh, battle on track and getting some valuable points for the Williams team at the moment. Uh, Physico in seventh position, and he's only a second behind double. We John in eighth, and Super Steve is in ninth position. Our dog is out the race. Didymus is out the race. Snap, Roscoe, Penny, Sven, uh, are you racing? And Harry also as well. As now you can see them back on board. Then with not that bad look at them just gaining on the slipstream now. As you can see, there's the uh, there's a the run between uh, turn five and uh, and turn five and six there. No, turn six and seven now. And look at this! And again, not oh, that bad God. is through. And uh, again, not that bad just goes through. Is Matt going to have a look? No, Matt. I thought Matt was going to go for it, but he thought better of it. Yeah, I think. Do you think that? Um, I think that uh, he probably thought he was going to lose a nose if uh, if he um, if he has a go down his turn one there. Do you reckon he was too far back? Do you think to make a realistic move? Yeah, I think he, he was a bit too far back to make that move. Oh, but, he, but he's got him. Oh, absolutely oh. brilliant. Oh. oh, he definitely wasn't too far back that time, though, was he? Might have to regain no, the lead. Not. Oh, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. That bag is right on him, And then, um, wow. Right on the back of his gearbox. And now, how tough it is to keep this battle up. Because um, in China, then in China, not that bad. And Roscoe had an amazing battle. And again, now having battle wheels, wheel. How tough it is to battle against uh, battle against a rival lap after lap. It must be exhausting and draining on your uh, on your uh, on your like mental capacity. Yeah, yeah. You've got, mate. You you have to stay focused, e even when battling or or, or just doing a quality lap. You got to treat your quality laps as if it, as if, yeah. Sorry, excuse me. As if you're in a race. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all about concentration. It is indeed, and uh, to be honest, I'm on one that lacks uh, that lacks concentration, and uh, that's why I'm not very good at this. And um, so as uh, we see, when we're on board, then we're not that bad. And again, and uh, Todd did say it's all about concentration. You've got to just concentrate, keeping up the walls. Now you've got to concentrate, not crashing into your rival as well. And not that bad is powering through. And again, and look at this, and uh, Matt is now going to get into the stream, and he's back on the inside. We've got a bit of traffic up in front as well. That might have the advantage to one of these drivers. And Physico has got by, not a double four at sixth position. And um, and Timmy is now homing in on Jonathan Cox for uh, that final podium position. Jonathan Cox has done eight laps on those uh, hot uh, medium tires. Well, he's in the pits now. Jonathan is so Jonathan is in the pits. And the uh, question is, is he going to go onto the super onto the soft? Well, I almost said super soft then. Uh, is he going to go onto the super soft? Uh, oh, he did say it. Blimey, there we go. Well, he's on the soft tire anyway. <laughs> so Jonathan is on the <laughs> soft compound tire, and that should get him to the end of the race. Um, is he going to is he going to give uh, Timmy any? Um, any issues um, towards the end of the race? I think he might be too far back though. He's 18 seconds back. I think that's uh, a bit too much work there for Jonathan. But he's definitely yeah, going to get fast as well. I think that's too much of a task for Jonathan to be fair. Ooh, uh, he's, he's got a five second penalty there for crossing the white line. We seen Blas do that last night, uh, didn't we, in the Elite League? And I'm surprised yeah. that he didn't get a penalty for that. But uh, Jonathan, uh, well, unfortunately, Jonathan did that. Oh, lovely shot here at the front wing now. As we, uh, just as I say, we cut off it. Uh, thanks, director. And now, then, as you can see, then we're coming up then to the uh, final sector again. Then Matt is almost out of DRS zone now. Is uh, it's not that bad now? Um, starting to really uh, starting to try and pull away because um, yeah, he's feeling that uh, he's feeling he's, he's starting to get a bit threatened, isn't he? Now uh, for Matt, of course, we're coming to the final stage of this Grand Prix. Double is back up to six. Uh, Fitzgerald is on the soft tire as well. So we've got a couple of guys going fast as well moment. And you can see them on board, Matt. He's uh, six tenths of a second back, but you can see, look at this though. Look at the uh, look at the time he's gaining then. And uh, Matt then hasn't even turned the euros up yet. And you can see he's, how much he's gaining. Now he's going to hit the DRS now. And uh, you can see then, look at this then. And uh, he, he's just edging closer, isn't he? And, um, he is, he is. He's just gaining and gaining and gaining. It's, just, it's amazing how good the slipstream is around this track. 
It does, doesn't it? I, I think um, in qualify as well, we've seen not that bad. It utilised the slipstream beautifully against uh, Super Ste. And he says, uh, now we're not that bad. They was defending the inside there because he feels that uh, he feels that uh, this run down into turn three and uh, and turn two and three has really um has been a, been quite a surprise though overtaking maneuver there, hasn't it? Really, I wouldn't classify turn three a bit of a um a bit of a um well a bit of a danger point on this track really. But um yeah, these two have been utilised in turn three quite well, haven't they? And now we're on board then uh, with uh, Matt then as he's uh, just coming up to turn six at the moment. So uh, these guys have been really um, drawing our attention for this race. And you can see that there's a, you see a bit of a flash of a, I think that's a gold and black car in the uh, foreground there. And that is uh, Wee John, who's in his second race. So um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, um, hopefully we'll get out of the way as uh, Matt is out of DRS zone at the moment. But look at that, that, that still feels quite close, isn't it? That looks like a second one. He's back in DRS zone now, isn't he? As now coming down to yeah. the very, very, um, very dodgy uh, turn at 15 now. seems to be very quick in, in sector 3. He does. I've chance. I think both drivers are very quick in sector 3, and then mm. Matt ain't going to get DRS, I don't think, because he was not in the detection. Oh, uh, I don't think he was at the detection. We've got a yellow flag. Uh, you flag in one. What's happening? Uh, just taking a quick Did look. Super Steve. Oh, Super Steve there is having a bit, had a bit of an adventure somewhere. But so uh, Super C, I think that was just coming out of turn four, I think. Yeah, he's got uh, wing damage. Oh, so Super C has got wing damage. Of course, they're coming to the lap for Wee John at the moment. Matt has dropped to two by, by 1.2 seconds there. So he has, didn't have DRS there. And he ain't going to have DRS into turn, um, into turn two and three at the moment. A fantastic battle. Moment. This will put, well, Matt, of course, is second in the championship mode. So that would just extend us in the uh, second position in the championship. But um, he would like to have beat not that bad today to... Uh, uh, to gain seven points over, uh, gain seven points over the Mercedes driver at the moment. So you got blue flags fluttering at the moment. Oh, it's Wee John going. Oh my gosh! I thought that we thought that we're not about going to the back of Wee John there. Uh, so Wee John is now just trying to get out the way of uh, not uh, of uh, Matt as well. Uh, Matt has dropped to 1.7 seconds back there. I thought that uh, not about going going to the back of Wee John there. I was um, I was just kind of uh, hiding my eyes. Now uh, that wouldn't have been I, good. I think Wee John and Super Speed. They got nothing to lose. Stick a set of socks on and have a crack at fastest lap. I think that's a very good call, actually, isn't it? Um, from uh, from that's a very good call indeed, isn't it? Really go fast after you get an extra point, don't you? Because we John and Super Steve is about to um, is almost uh, it's almost there. It's, it's almost home. We'll get uh, their first air points in yeah, IRC. Steve. Yep, yeah, Steve's coming in. So Steve's going in the pits. He's going to try and go for faster lap. Surely he's. Uh, we expect uh, the red tyres to come on. Well, I'll stay on board with him, and uh, I'll let you know what tyres he goes on. Excellent stuff. So um, as we wait for as we wait for the um, for uh, oh I almost said for India or the racing point uh, to um, yeah he's gone on the set of socks. And a physical, and he's now got a beat a 143.6 head. So we've got a bit, of, so we've got some qualifying laps in store for you guys now. So as a physical is laid down the gauntlet, what can Jonathan Cox do? What about Super Steve? And is we John go to uh, enter this uh, enter this battle as well? I wonder if uh, Dave might have a go as well because Dave is uh, 14 seconds away from Jonathan Cox, and he's uh, 40 seconds in front of Double. I'm wondering if um, Dave might have a uh, might have a crack at fast lap as well. Uh, so we're on lap 22 out of 26. A phenomenal race, uh, Todd. Who is who's been the one that's impressed you today? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, we got a couple of guys making their uh, de a couple of guys getting their first points on their um, uh, on their. Oh, I see. Oh, we come back to that in a minute because we got Jonathan Cox is out of the. Um, uh, oh no! So Jonathan Cox is out. We're on board. I think he's in the super fast section of the uh, the final sector. Just on board, Dave. As uh, a Dave, we're going to see where is he. That's an unusual place to crash there for Jonathan. That's a very unusual place to crash. It's on the, the start-finish straight. Yeah, that's, that's very unusual for uh, for Jonathan to crash on the uh, straight there, isn't it? I'm, I'm a yeah. little surprised. that I thought we'd been a bit earlier than that. So Jonathan is out of the race. That's two DNFs maybe in a row. Maybe going too fast and, and hit the wall, maybe. Oh, that's a big blow for Jonathan, that is, really. I think that that's two maybe. DNFs in a row now. And unfortunately, um, uh, I was... Timmy sneaked in the pits and stuck a set of socks on, so he's going for fastest lap. So um, yeah, as uh, Jonathan just said in the uh, comments, he hit a bit of debris and went into the wall. So that kind of explains uh, why he was in an unusual place there. Um, so that's oh, a big that blow. Is so that is a massive blow for Jonathan because um, 
now because uh, he should get some points still but it's got no yellow flagging free uh as um, i just started coming to it now uh, as we're on board not that bad he's at uh, 1.8 seconds in front of matt but um yeah that's a big blow for jonathan because even though he's scoring he's going to score today but that's two dnfs in a row now for jonathan as you said if you get into a bit of a slump it's really hard to get out of isn't it it is yeah i i, I can vouch for that because i've been in that situation and uh it's not a very nice place to be it definitely isn't it's a big blow as well for a uh, big blow as well for jonathan uh i must say so um yeah, unfortunate that is. Uh, so we can see it's getting very dull again out there as well. But yeah, but going back to what we were discussing before, uh, Jonathan um, unfortunately hit the wall. Um, what do you? What, who's impressed you today? Your yellow flag and one. I think it's just super prestigious getting out of the way. Uh, so, um, who's who's impressed you today, though? Uh, to be honest, it's two drivers have impressed me today, and that's Matt and not that bad. I, I definitely agree. It's been. Um, it's like, oh, not that bad again. Very close to the wall there, uh, between six and seven. I definitely agree because um, I feel that uh, I feel that um, I f I, yeah, I feel that really um, that these two have absolutely done a great job in terms of racing again. Like in a, like in the China, not that bad. Is oh, we got a bit of rain, have we? Have we got a bit of rain? We have got a bit of rain. We've got a bit of rain then in towards the end of the race. How difficult is this going to be then for these guys then on the? Um, on the um on the tar on the tires is this gonna is this are they gonna have to come for intermediates do you reckon or is it just a um should they be able to limp to the end but how difficult is it gonna be oh well i, I reckon they should be all right to get to the end there's only three laps left uh and by the looks of it it's only little spots of rain so they've got a good chance to, to finish on these tires uh well jonathan just said actually in the comments that he um that he said he had rained but just before he retired so uh yeah so um i wish i read that earlier because then i would have uh, you know i would have sounded like you know mystic mystic metal so Miss, mystic meg so um yeah <laughs> so i wish i read that earlier um so uh, yeah we've got a bit of rain so this is just going to uh this is just throwing a spanner into the works isn't it, into the final stage of the race and yeah i definitely agree you're not that bad in a matter of uh, drove absolutely it's a phenomenal race two races now in a row uh, not that bad has shown he can drive he can fight wheel to wheel and he's going for four wins out of four timmy has just set the fast level race goal yo flagging one and uh just on board then uh, with uh, timmy he's just uh he's just thrown the um from the gauntlet down fast like that means that timmy will have 16 points at the moment which is a very good which is very good indeed uh, this will also be his first podium in his second race of irc oh lovely shot there uh of irc um here so absolutely good stuff from timmy he's really um really put the difficult race of china behind him and bounced back phenomenally he was um unfortunately he got a bit too got a bit too close to the front winner and, and damaged his front wing which is a big uh, which is a big shame and uh just um it's coming to the close stage of the race and how bad is this rain going to be is this rain going to affect anyone who is going who is this going to benefit uh, so there's some big gaps um be up and down the field now isn't there but uh definitely uh, definitely the closest battles between that first and second mm, so, definitely matt and not that bad have given them absolutely amazing shows tonight they have indeed they were kind of um they've really i think they've really shown really shown some good class today haven't they as uh you can see there's a bit of spots now um on the on the uh on the camera lens there so um it's um it's definitely it's there's definitely rain in the air which is probably the most obvious thing i've said in a long time but um yeah it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking it's light at the moment but hmm, one lap left yeah I, i'd say they they can finish on these tires there's there's no point going into the pits just for one lap and uh, no, it was uh, not that bad then, it's uh, five seconds in front of Matt. I think Matt might have given up the chase now in a uh, second for second. So he will get 18 points, won't he? But unfortunately, he will lose another seven points in the battle for the championship. And not that bad. It's starting to, it looks like he's starting to run away with it, isn't he? Of course, he will be on, he'll yeah. be on over 100 points already. Incredibly, after four rounds. And you can see that, oh, coming through the castle section there. Really, um, really show, really show, he hasn't really, uh, uh, drops off the pace so this will only be the second time because I doubt he's going to get fast lap now but this will only be the second time where he hasn't got to have got fast lap so in he, in the first two so he's had fast lap in two of the four first races as well so that just shows he's 
not only been quick over over the course of our race distance he's also he's also been very quick over one lap pace as well phenomenal stuff for not that bad really and um, he did a class on his own right now He's in a class, well, he definitely is now, isn't he, really, he's starting to stretch his lead over Matt, but I think up until that, I must admit though, up at most of the races, not that bad, hasn't really had a clear advantage, has he, I feel that uh, he's had to fight for his win, so uh, it may, on paper it looks like he's having it all his own way, but he definitely hasn't, especially in the last two races, especially in this race in China, and we're on the final lap now of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, 26 action-packed laps. And uh, as you can see, uh, we had a bit of sprinkle of rain, and, and once again, as I said earlier, I said that I don't think we're, I don't think we're going to see rain in Azerbaijan. Well, I was wrong because again, it was ra it rained. So um, yeah, <laughs> so if, if you'd like, if you're, if you're a betting person on football match or anything like that, if I say um, Liverpool's going to win, bet against the other team because that's obviously what will happen. <laughs> and um, so we're now on the final lap. Then uh, is that not that bad? It's now seven seconds in front of Matt. But um, yeah, this tw these uh, these 25 points are going to be absolutely uh, absolutely, absolutely val uh, valuable tonight. We said today that whatever happens, not that bad. He's not going to lose the lead in the championship. He certainly hasn't, has he? He's um, going to extend no, his never. lead. And uh, absolutely, he's, he's absolutely drove the back in race. Matt's made him work for this win, and my hat goes off to both of them. Absolutely phenomenal stuff, and of course, a uh, big shout out to Tim. We'll get his uh, first podium and his first points of his RC career. Dave will get his first points of the season as well. And uh, in fourth position, Physico in fifth, double in sixth position. Good job from double today, uh, showing his consistency. Uh, we, John, and Super Steve, seventh and eighth, will also get their first points in RC, but not that bad. Then uh, come around the uh, proper final corner, or uh, the not the proper final corner, but the final breaking zone, as he is now coming powering up to the line. And not that bad with almost a uh, almost a 10 second lead and here he is with a bit of rain in the air but uh, I think it'll affect him now because he is coming up to the start for his side and not that bad wins four out of four races fantastic from not that bad brilliant congratulations uh, not that bad and uh, Matt, race. I think Matt might have uh, almost run out of fuel there well uh, I don't think he has actually and he finishes second Matt does Good, uh, good driving from Matt. A great, a great, uh, absolutely phenomenal uh, race as well. And uh, Timmy then coming through to uh, finish, um, to finish in third position. And uh, here he comes in. So Timmy coming through to finish third and his first podium of his career. His first points as well for Timmy. He is. Uh, I'm wondering if Timmy is definitely um, going to be uh, going to going to be on the back of hot on the heels of the front runners in a couple of races time. Uh, looking forward to see what he could do with Monaco, really. Um, not, and here comes DNF Dave, and um, DNF Dave, and he has come round to uh, finish in a fourth position there. So this will be his first race. Uh, oh, oh, physical has gone off. You can see, look how wet it is out there now. So with um, yeah, it's very perilous out there at the moment. Uh, double has finished, four, sixth position, seven for Wee John, eight for Super Steve. Jonathan Cox gets two points, one point for As Dog. Uh, physical there, just about coming to the end there. I think he's uh, he hasn't done from me, so he's a very well not to hit anything. Dave finishes in fourth position. Good driving from Dave there, his first points of the season. And Physico, oh, look at that, that's a handful of a car, isn't it? Car 14, of course, um, uh, um, who's uh, driving around, of course, a uh, man, a famous man who, wore, who drove a car 14 as well, who was Renault's last world champion of Fernando Alonso. So Physico is taking over that number now, and he's coming to the line as well with literally no errors left. But Physico comes across the line and will get 10 valuable points for uh, him and the Renault team. And Physico finishes fifth position what a race Todd and I think you've already already summed it up with um, some cracking drive uh, cracking drives from both Matt and uh, not that bad today phenomenal yeah definitely mate um couldn't fault the top two mate they were battling it out Matt absolutely made not that bad work for his win yes and <laughs> Dave is, uh, is, oh, is ecstatic yes! about I'm getting <laughs> well done, Dave. Well done, mate. Oh, uh, that was mental. I was absolutely phenomenal, Dave, as well. And, uh, we, we'll chat to you in a minute about your race tactics because um, yeah, we did notice yeah, it. We noticed at the start where you was hanging back, but um, we're just going to we're just going to congratulate. Not that bad, and we'll go through the uh, race results then from this absolutely <laughs> fantastic Azerbaijan uh, uh, Grand Prix then. 
So uh, yeah, not that bad. Got from pole position to one from pole position to a uh, checker flag, but it was anything but that easy. Uh, Matt finished the second. <laughs> the second was um, second was Matt, and um, third position was Timmy. Great, uh, great drive from Timmy today. His first pole. <laughs> First um, podium of his IRC career. Uh, Dave uh, getting his first points of the season and his first finish yes. in fourth position. Physico is fifth position. Double doing a great job in sixth today. With Wee John and Super Stee um, also getting their first points as well in uh, IRC. Um, ninth position is Jonathan Cox and tenth position is Azdog, which completes the top ten. Unfortunate returns for Didymus, Snap, Roscoe, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> Penny, oh, Sven, oh, <laughs> Are You oh, Racing? And uh, oh, Harry. <laughs> oh. And um, first, uh, let's uh, let's come to you then, Dave. Um, absolutely, I'll, I'll bet you're ecstatic. Well, you sound ecstatic yes. about and getting first your first. Time pounded last year. <laughs> oh, blimey, was it that long? <laughs> oh, yeah. It um, all gone against me. My chair's broken. I couldn't lean back. I had to pit after lap one. It was it was all going wrong. It was all going wrong. I qualified at the back. I held back at the start. The first two turns, I was miles behind. I let him all back out. I think Super Steve off his front wing and then double hit him and I hit the back of double. So I had to pit and then I was just taking it easy the rest of the way. Buzzing, buzzing man. And a fourth I think. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I, I, we, I think I was saying to Todd actually right at the beginning that um, it looked like Dave was hanging back just to avoid the um, just to, to avoid the uh, carnage and uh... yeah, massively. <laughs> in, in, in the formation, yeah, no, I was the right in the thing, formation, I was <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was we were saying again that it was uh, it was a bit of gamesmanship again on the formation lap where um, he was taking a very long time for you and Double to come around and um, it was definitely um, yeah I thought it was a bit of gamesmanship but was that was always no, just no, me, me, me and Double were just practicing our maneuvers you know he was trying to take me outside I outbreaked <laughs> him just you know getting a flow for it getting a good feel for it but well, rather than um, I was never on that finish because um, that was that was a hell of a race. It was, it was actually and there was a lot more finishers uh, in this race than there was last year I think um, there wasn't very many at all last year uh, well they actually crossed the line anyway and uh, Matt a great second place there you and uh, you and uh, not that bad put on an absolutely phenomenal display um, it, was a, it was a good show of how to drive um, I take us through mm. that race or... no not to say me it was taking the, let's be honest he was taking the pits he could have cleared off at any time he wanted <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not stupid. He, he, he was doing. He, knew, he was doing what he needed to do. He could have cleared off at any time. As he showed at the end, he won by ten seconds in the end. Ah, right. So, um, you, so you feel not not that bad. Was just kind of holding back and just, um, well, just yeah, basically. Of course um, was, he's, he's got a right to do it. Uh, and, I, I think. I think both of you were just at putting on a show. To be honest and giving everyone a great great entertainment yeah no it was good i enjoyed it but you, you know when somebody can clear off yeah and as it showed at the end it won by like say one by 10 seconds so but happy with second i'll take that well the next question then is um can you can you stop him because you're second in the championship in the moment and um the lead is no, now building is not almost a chance Blimey. Not, uh, not that bad. He's not that bad. <laughs> he certainly isn't, is he? He's he's almost got uh, fifty. He's a phenomenal driver. He's almost got uh, uh, fifty points um, already after four rounds. He's um he's almost been top billing as well. He's, I think he's only two points away from uh, the actual um, <laughs> maximum point score. Uh, that's that's pretty phenomenal after four rounds, isn't it? Yeah. He's um he's breaking records, isn't he? Which uh which Vanquish set all them years ago so um, he is looking absolutely phenomenal so um, do you feel that it's already a battle for the best of the rest then? Uh, yeah yeah basically <laughs> can't argue with that one mate <laughs> and obviously you take each week as it take each week as it comes but you know he could have a those connections we all thought he did at the beginning of this and crash out but if he done he'll win uh, do, do, is there it's any there is drivers to go on sorry uh, so, no, no worries. That's all right. I uh, know this is a question to uh, both of you. If that's all right, do you think that there's any um, any weakness and not that bad? Maybe his qualifying isn't up to scratch, or do you feel that um, do you feel that uh, again he was holding back? Well, the back? thing is, in, in, is it Bahrain? He qualified 14th and still won the race. Yeah, he can qualify wherever he wants. He's, he's just it, it, to be cr credit to him, he's a clean racer. You know, he, he comes yeah, through very, very well. He's he's a fantastic racer. He's just he's too good, too good for the league. But that's not his fault. He's, he's a fantastic racist. 
It's very, very cool. His downfall could be his connection, that's about it. <laughs> so hopefully we get a bad connection for not that bad then. As, um, yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, so really, it's um, I think it's uh, it's on the rest of you guys to kind of catch up and try into uh, and try to beat her, not that bad. But uh, yeah, he, he is a phenomenal driver. And we're going on to Spain next. Of course, the first proper European race of the season. Uh, what are, what are you guys rating your chances then for next week? One of my hot tracks. One of my favourites. <laughs> I, I love Spain. I got a podium. That's where my first podium came from, Spain. So I love the track. So we got a night and day then in terms of um, in terms of what you guys rate your chances then. So um, yeah, that, thank you all for joining us tonight. It's been absolutely phenomenal stuff. Um, is um, he, well done, is, it was absolutely great. And I tell you what, um, eight drivers have finished um, tonight's race. Um, well done to all you. And we had three drivers that scored their first error points here in Azerbaijan as well. So that is a very, um, very good, very good stuff indeed. Yeah. So uh, of course, join us on Saturday because the Elite League will be back as we're going to rerun Bahrain. So looking forward to that as well. And of course, next week we'll be in Spain then for both Elite and Super at the same time. So uh, it's going. It's looking very good. It's looking very tight at the at top of the same elite. time. Yeah! <laughs> well, if I can get my act together right away. <laughs> Give or take. Uh, anyway, so yeah. So with Spain next week, everyone. Uh, looking forward to both Elite and Super to be back in action. But here, it's goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.